All right, welcome back, you guys. <clears throat> um, so I said I was gonna like do the rest of this run off stream, but I never did because <laughs> I ended up ended up streaming kind of late. So we're gonna finish it up just for practice on uh, on the remaining bosses. But yeah, with the run yesterday we did get hit on on Millennia because like I I, I went for a parry that maybe, I probably shouldn't be going for pro I'll basically. So not ever. Uh, Edge, thanks for the How two months recent, dude. Yeah, I just want to get a rune arc. All right, let's see if we can at least note the rest of this. Uh, so we have Poisonous Mist, we have Spread Out. Should have everything we need. Crucible Feather Talisman. I, I don't think I need it. I really don't think I need it. But I did want to test some things before we start the run. I want to test Black Flame Tornado on... I want to test it on Radagon. I'm not like there might be some other bosses where I can uh, fit in a tornado, but hmm, I don't know. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna play Minecraft today. Probably maybe, not. Maybe I'll give you the best nut ever. Hey, Gino, how's are you doing today? Uh, Mervil, thanks for the uh, three month prime sub, dude. I appreciate that. Yeah, so I, I, I want to, yeah, like I'll probably do some practice and then we'll do a run and then with how long this run is, it'll probably just be one attempt, but we'll see. We will see. But yeah, the, I guess the tough thing about it is that um, I can't just, I can't just, I don't know, like, since I have Black Flame Tornado on the spear, usually I have the fist, I have the fang, I have the dagger, and I have the short sword with po Poison Moth Flight. Usually I have those four weapons equipped. Like, you can't really equip five weapons, right? That's, like, way too many. And so that's why on Radagon I feel like it's actually realistic, because I, uh... I used the spear on him anyway, so. Uh, 14, it should be 1080p on Twitch, right? Okay, we use Rot here. Let's go on Hunter. Oh, we shouldn't be using the short bow for this. Right now we wait. Oh, dude, you know what? I'm going to test bewitching the uh, Bloodhound Knight, I think. It's probably a good time to try that. Oh, yeah, I forgot, I, <laughs> I forgot to uh, respond, Hunter, dude, but... I mean, yeah, we can... Yeah, we can set something up, like, tonight or tomorrow or something. Up your coin. All of it. Yo, Agorphobic, thanks for the five dollar donation. I appreciate that. Back. Banger yesterday was a banger stream. Thanks, dude. Let's go on, Matt. And uh Opai, welcome back. Is it cheating to use the bubble tier? Well you still get hit if you use the bubble tier, so <laughs> it doesn't really prevent anything. Yeah, bewitching the bloodhound could speed maybe, up this fight maybe, pretty considerably. Not ever. I'll just wait. 
Um, Storm. Thanks for the two month resub, dude. Have I moved back over? Wait, have I moved back to Twitch over YouTube streaming now? I stream on both. I always stream on both. I always walk around there because you can get a you can get like a meme lingering hitbox from that fucking thing okay so tornado and then we need to swap this for the beast torch as we're running in why don't I level maybe, up that is a I've never thought about that best not that's a great ever. question nice Cheesy, thanks for the four-month prime stuff, dude. But yeah, I, I was pretty happy with the run yesterday, though. Like, especially the way I got hit wasn't even really, uh... Wasn't really a mistake I made. It was more just... I was setting myself up to get hit in that way by not... By trying to parry in that situation, so... I can probably interrupt this one here. Okay, so Beast Torch. I'll, I'll, um, like, I'll just load a save file for testing the uh, Bewitching Branch after, I guess. Holy shit, a bleed proc. Why do I forget what I do here? I... I don't attack the wolves, right? <laughs> what do I forget? Well, the gesture... The gesture strat, I'll, I'll do it. You know, it's actually really bad. I didn't have it equipped there even. Oh, yeah. I just... No, I just... I just do this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> But yeah, in that case, like, we already had Rot. As, as long as we have one status effect going, like, I'm just going to run away. Um, I can't really tell what's happening right now. I don't know. Let's go on his ass. And disease, welcome back as well. Like, is this rot that's procced, or is it poison?
<laughs> yeah, neither. I did finish it as as, yeah. Yeah, it seems to be working well. I haven't, like, AFK'd at it yet, but... I, like, I'm not sure how much more we're going to play on that world, so... I'm not going to go for a moth light, because I'm pretty sure that poison's about to run out, so... I'll maybe, just wait. Maybe... <laughs> I can you imagine, like, ever. go for the moth light, and... Like, it just runs out mid-animation. It's really... It's it's really sketchy doing this with a, a longer weapon. Like, I, I maybe I should go and grab another dagger from somewhere. There we go. I need to blow my nose, you guys. Maybe, maybe, I'll give you the best nut ever. Okay. Uh, Wiggly, thanks for the brand new Prime sub, and Slobby, thanks for the brand new Prime sub, dude. Alright, that was clean. Get rid of the war sickle. So we, yeah, we actually do need to scavenge for one more rot grease on this run, which is it's fine. Like I, I know, probably I'll pick up the ones in here, or there's even more in Lake of Rot that I didn't grab. So. Uh, well, you don't you don't need to kill Godric to get into Landall. I'd Vars Bouquet. I actually have tried it, and it's just not very good. You know what? Like getting the charged R two, Talisman is just basically useless on this run. <laughs> like it's only good, and same with Red Feather. Like they're only good on the bosses where I don't have statuses, which is honestly not most of the bosses. So, like, when I do the, uh, no status version of this run, then obviously it'll be a different story, but, um, there's the rod. I usually go for a bleed here. Oh, boy. I don't know why I went for two. I didn't mean to. Whoops. And I also, I also didn't mean to go behind him either. <laughs> like, a few things went wrong right there. Oops. Hardest boss, dude. I mean, Vard's bouquet. It's it's okay on bosses that can bleed. It is okay. Yeah, Godric, Godric this late is actually a little sketchy, but he's he is easy, so. It's quite concerning how I like forget stuff on this run somehow, dude. <laughs> like That's why that's why I need to keep attempting it until I get it, because taking breaks and doing other stuff is kinda like I, I just I get runs confused and then. Did I make a save before him? I don't think so.
I think I can do two on this one. And do three on this one. I think I missed that. Yeah, we just wait at this point. Like, because phase two is the dangerous phase. And so we just wait until we can get a scripted phase two. And I think I usually go in as soon as the rot ends, which is right now. Might have missed a tick there of the uh, tornado. We finish with Moth Light. Okay. That is golden. And one day we'll return together. To yeah, Godjack is really ugly. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Nice, uh, whatever this is right there. Never thought about it. Is it faster to get to the teleporter from this grace? Like, they seem... Like, the teleporter is right, what, in there? Right somewhere in here? They seem pretty much the same. I'm gonna try going from here, just to see. Because what I normally do is I trigger the invasion, and then I, like, run over to the side. But, like... I'm not sure... I might get invaded going this way, too. I don't know. Uh, bang, how's it going, dude? My first Godric loss. <laughs> yeah, I probably shouldn't go this way. <laughs> I just wanted to see. Um, I mean, it, it's a lot different doing a, doing like a run like this right now where I've already been hit versus if I'm zero hit because I'd be a lot more focused and and stuff. So it's not it's not really the same. What's up, Astro? Uh, PB is personal best. So yeah, when I when I did actually get like the two hit run, that was at a point I was I was doing no reset runs. Obviously, at this point I will do reset runs, but I just I just wanted to go through the rest of this because we we were basically at the end when I got hit. But um. Yeah, the hits I took were on Fire Giant. Like, I I got hit pretty early on that run, and then the, the ending of the run was pretty clean. I got hit on Fire Giant and Godskin Noble. So everything past Fire Giant, that was no hit, which is... Like, that's all the hardest stuff, so... 
Um, I started going for baby jumps on needles. I can't remember. But it's definitely better. Like, it actually is definitely better, especially going at, like, a... Um... Like, a slight forward angle as well. Uh, there's a cut content ring in DS3. Charge R2 boost ring. Dude, that would be so nice, man. That would, that would be really good for the game balance if they had a ring like that in DS3. Do the arc at longer range? Well, longer range for which one? Like, the, the flying needles, or...? Well, I don't... Yeah, I don't arc for flying needles at this point. I... I, I think what the best... And, and the, the, the method of doing it that requires the least amount of distance from Elden Beast, from what I tested, was going at, like, a 20-degree angle, basically. So, like, you go sideways, but then slightly forward as well. And that makes it a bit better. Which, I, I don't know why, but it just does. Like, that was the method of doing it where I was able to stay the absolute closest to the cuz cuz that's the big thing right is you know not every time or when you're when you're far away from flying needles you can do anything and it, it works but the problem is when you don't have that option to be at the correct distance so yeah i started i i started doing it like i don't know when I um, was starting to like gear up for this run again. It does look sketchy, but for some reason it actually is better. Like I was doubtful at first when I first tried it. But um, yeah, there's actually a lot of stuff we have to get here. Because like, I tested it a while ago and what, what I was thinking is just like the most important thing is distance, which is probably still true, but... The jumping method, like I said, I, I believe that it is what, like, especially on the flying needles, but for the other needles as well, it, um, decreases the amount of distance that you need to be able to dodge it consistently, so. Uh, stack. Uh, thanks, dude. I appreciate that. Opera GX better browse than Brave? Mmm, probably not. <laughs> uh, Preenshu, welcome back as well. Yeah, so next week, you guys, we are going to be, uh, we're going to be doing some bingo. Like, next week's going to be basically bingo week, so... I'm not sure if we're going to end up getting this run before then. It doesn't really matter, but... Like, maybe we won't do bingo every day, but I'm definitely planning on doing some matches with Bree. She's been, she's been like, cheating on me, dude. She's been doing a bunch of matches with other people. <laughs> She's been giving him intel, surely. But no, it's good. I like she's been winning almost I, I don't know if like if she's just carrying or or like how, but I'm every time I've seen her do a bingo match with against other people, she wins. So I, I'm not sure like I'm not sure what that means. If she's just better or if <laughs> like, I don't know. Maybe maybe other people are, are sandbagging, dude. That's what I would do. Not gonna lie. I'd be sandbagging pretty hard. <laughs> so that people... Like, because you don't... Like, especially against practicing against people that you're gonna be going against, you don't want to be giving them any intel, dude. Right?
Oui. Well, not, not the more you practice, the more... Well, you want to reveal your weakness, but to yourself. <laughs> All right. You don't want to reveal your weakness to your opponent. Although, I don't think Bingo's... Like, I'm not sure if that's a thing where somebody has a weakness and the opponent can exploit it, right? It's not like a normal head-to-head -head competition. Where you're, like, actually against them and whatever. Luring pots don't work on NPCs here? I don't think so. Although I'm actually not 100% sure. But alluring pots are the exact same as White Shadow's lure, right? So there is some, there's definitely use for them. And I think. Surely this lobster won't wake up, but um, I think if, you know, I think in the uh, Master Hall bosses, the, they could be used somewhere, potentially. All right, Purifying Tear, Shackle, Camera Retaliation, Seppuku... Should be good. Oh, I have no rock reese. Okay, so I guess the rock reese I will get is the one over here. Well, there's there's beast lure pots and there's alluring pots. Beast lure pots I think are completely useless because you have the beast torch. Unless there's some extra thing that it does that I'm not aware of. But yeah, the alluring pots definitely could have some use, but... I think one of the main reasons that nobody uses them is because, first of all, stealth is so strong, but then also, it's not like Dark Souls 3 where you just go pick them up or buy them from somebody. You, you would have to make them, and they're a ritual pot recipe. So, it's just... Oh, you're right. Dude, you're right, as ass. What the hell? What am I doing, man? It's like fucking 10 over here. Is that one up so high you can't even get it? <laughs> I've never thought to pick these up before. I, I guess probably just because usually at this point we're so late in the run and I've already gotten all the rot stuff, but kind of funny, man. <clears throat> well, I guess if we ever need extra rot stuff, we just go there. And I'm so lost right now. Spent 10 minutes landing that jump yesterday. Felt so dumb. Wait, which one? I'm not sure what jump you mean. Does anybody know, is is Bloody Slash just twice the amount of damage as an Assassin's Gambit? Like, could I use this to set this up here? I guess I'll just try. So that puts us at 159. Apparently not. <laughs> Live testing, yeah, on the two-hit run, dude. I need to get to 90, 94 or 95 HP.
I guess I'll just do the normal thing. Yeah, I did. I did quip the tier. Um, I usually go shield in this hand. What am I doing, bro? This is not really a big rush there. <clears throat> because I'm going to lose my stun now, probably. Actually, we'll have to drink now, I think. No big deal. Oh, that was not what I meant to do. Jesus, that was scuff. <laughs> yeah, another two hitter, dude. Okay, so what I there's a few things on the list that we got to test. A few things.
All right, I guess first Renala. I want to test the Bewitching Branch. That's not Renala. The hell? Pretty sure I just made a save before going into her, so. Well, that's, whoa. That's what he said, dude. <laughs> what are these saves, man? Let's go on Bender. Maybe this one. This is what happens when you have like thousands of save files and you don't name them all. I can just kill her, right? Nice one. Oh. I guess I, I just want to try this. I, I don't think I'd actually do this on this run because... Like, I, I don't... I don't really think there's a point. But I just... I want to see... How much damage he can do. Like, I think that'd be the strat uh, on the... Uh... If you were to not use status effects, that would probably be a part of the strat. Oh, I guess she's... Oh, whoops. I guess because I put her HP high. <laughs> Come, O oh Sworn Giant. Boss is so garbage, man. He looks cool, at least.
Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. Yep, that's definitely uh, a strat I could do. That's pretty good. I wonder if you could get. I, I wonder if you could get the dogs also to to do that. I mean, probably. So I should probably try to do that, right? I feel like I should try to do that if I end up getting the Bloodhound at all. I mean, even a strat could be not even doing the Beast Torch strat anymore and just waiting. Yeah, you need to get her phase two. Yeah, yeah. I would just do the same, like, status effect thing. Like, the exact same opening with, like, poison and rot. That <laughs> brings the dragon. What is the HP threshold here? Is it, it's like 60 or so percent, right? Yeah, the Bloodhound's a monster on any plus seven, dude. I guess the literally the only concern I could see there for us for the um, like nightmare run is what if he procs a status, <laughs> right? Like, what if he bleeds her? I'm kind of curious about the wolves, though. So what's the best way to do it? Just roll in and get slammed? Probably not. And maybe if I rolled a bit to the left, that would have been fine. <clears throat> Bloodhound did, not me. <laughs> well, I don't know. I probably, I don't know. That's... Because I, I was actually thinking about that. Like, just, what if... What if, hypothetically, you did the Nightmare Run, all bosses, no hit? What if you did the, the blood dog strat on Esger, right? Because you're using, like, the dogs use the statuses there. Because I, I was thinking about that. Like, I would say that's probably not allowed, but. Oh, no, the... Oh yeah, they both just despawned. Damn, Ranala hates dogs, I guess. Oh! Huh. That's interesting. Didn't expect that. Wait, so if I... Okay. <laughs> I, I kind of want to try another thing then. I wonder if I get all of them, will they just... Blast Renala? Like, will they come in and just... <laughs> and just attack her? They definitely, like, coded this in a weird way. And, and, and... It's another part of the strat, actually, I do on normal runs, where I don't have a scripted Renala, but I have the Beast Torch. Like, when... So, so, for... 
normally when I have damage, I kill three of the wolves and leave one. And the wolves remember that I attacked them. And so, so the only wolf that I didn't attack will be passive, but all of the other ones... <laughs> this is so weird. Like, why did one just instantly die? Dude, why can't I... Like, I'm just... How am I having so many issues here? Maybe, maybe I'll give you the best nut ever. Hi. I'm so confused by what happens there. Why don't they go after her? Goddamn simp dogs, dude. Uh, Raxed, thanks for the one year resub. Welcome back, dude. Why don't they go after her? Okay, let, let's say I'm in this position. Is there a way that I could be witching branch this guy? Like that that might be the better way to do it, not try to go in on the opening. Like that's that's a lot of damage. Oh. Oh little Rani. Holy shit, dude. He My dear. <laughs> He's so good. How is he so strong? And why didn't he despawn there? He went right after those wolves. <laughs> that's so funny, man. Oh, man. That's so good. He's a beast. I don't even need the beast torch strat anymore. Just do that. Nice menuing. Like the problem here, the reason why I like the lie down strat is because it's it can be very annoying getting back in range here. Like all of these attacks are just not. Not nice to deal with when you're close. And she, and she just keeps doing them. Like, that's... <laughs> I'd be too far here. Here we go, finally. I'm supposed to go behind her right there.
This is definitely this is definitely the strat on this boss for. Her. I, I wonder how good the the bloodhound would be on base NG cycle. Because this could be a legitimate strat. Like even if if ever I'm doing a run where I don't have a scripted Bernala fight. It seems like it's pretty decent. Two raw pots get her start phase two. I don't know. Okay, so here, so. Okay, don't roll like that. What did I, I thought I did that last time. I think just my positioning was wrong. Come, oh sworn giant. What if I sleep the Bloodhound Knight? Hmm. I don't think it's necessary. I don't even know if you like that seems like it'd be more it would be harder to do. Okay. There we go. But he does so much damage. <laughs> He's so good. Man, that's a nice strat. I'm gonna, like I'm gonna start doing this, dude. It's 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 definitely way faster than than what I was doing before. That's a, that's a good idea, Bender. Yeah, that's a good idea. Let me try some rod pots, though. I guess I have two. Like screw the dog strat, dude. And I've known for a while that you could do this, but I've never actually, I've, I've just never actually done it before. And I should have done it on the Nightmare Run earlier, but. Two's gotta be enough. It's not. <laughs> That's disappointing. You know what, though? With this strat, we don't even need rot here. Like, we just get poison? You know, we can swap over the starfish to just get a bleed proc or something? Please stop, you fucking asshole. We don't really need rot here. It'll just speed up the phase one a bit, but once, once we get the poison, like, I probably wouldn't even do the strat. For dodging this because it just it feels a little unnecessary i'll probably still try to get rod i mean i might as well but it's done You can just go you can just go underneath the breath here but I, I just I don't know there's not 
realistically, I wouldn't be attacking during... Oh, shit, I have the... Oh, I'd never noticed that happened. Look at I have the uh, magic debuff right there. Okay, so run to the side. You basically just gun it to the side. Oh. Look at that poise, dude. <laughs> oh. That's it's so good, man. What an insane strat. You know what? This makes this boss like two times more fun than than if this wasn't possible. It's so good. Um okay, okay, let me uh I'll make her invincible and see how long it takes to get a bleed proc. Just because I'm I'm curious at this point. No other reason. <clears throat> yeah, like he dude, he does eleven hundred damage per hit. But but yeah, I, I would be curious on on NG plus seven or on base NG cycle if like there's no way he would kill her that quick, right? Hmm. I, I really don't know. Like, eh. that was weird. Dude, a bewitching arrow would be... That would be really fucking cool, actually. It seems a little OP, but... I think that sounds like that'd be awesome. Because imagine the assassin builds with, like... <laughs> with an arrow that literally... Makes somebody on your team. That'd be so sick. Dude, the Nile cheese strat would be even better that way, because you could you could shoot his summons when he summons them. Yeah, that'd actually be really cool. Oh, oops. Bog maybe <laughs> wait, bow glitch it with throwing knife. Okay, so what the hell do I do? That is certainly not safe. Yeah. Yeah, that's not safe. Imagine if I stopped testing it here and I just did that on a run and got blasted like that. <laughs> I'd be so upset. Like, how, how could it be safe if that's not the opening? It'd be, it'd be kind of unfortunate to have to do it. Uh, Hans, thanks for the donation, dude. Hey, Gino. Good luck with the run. Imagine if you were paid one meter dollars for no hitting all great runes fists only. Would it be possible? Beauty is a power and, how and a long smile would it take to prepare. <laughs> Double fucking DTS. Um, Elfman, thanks for the 1,000 bits as well, dude. I don't know when to do it. 
I guess he probably is parryable. Because he, he, he literally only does one attack, right? He just pursues you and tries to only do a single attack. I got it to repeat action. I'm not really sure what that is going to do, but. Oh, wait. I got this guy to repeat action, too. I don't want that. Hey, bro. Man, I, I. It would really suck to have to use Maybe something else to make it consistent. I'm pretty sure it's consistent on the on the opening attack, but it, it, you're not always going to be able to get that. Uh, Vibro, thanks for the gift of sub, dude. Yeah, you're not always going to be able to get an opening attack. So, <sighs> like if you're if you're far away or something, then. No, this arena is not endless, but it's pretty big. It's a really long recovery. All right, here's my next idea. Maybe since that recovery is so slow, you're able to just react and see if he does a dash. So you do dodge it. And then you just wait a second to see if he dashes away. Fuck. I wonder, is that an input read? No. I can't lock onto him. I have another idea actually, but what if I what if I bewitching branch him as he's despawning? And then that would mean next time he summons in, he's gonna just destroy her, right? Come, oh sworn giant. Dude, what is that? Like, what is that even? There's clearly something very wrong with <laughs> the AI here or something, man. Like, who are you attacking, bro? How's it going, Adrian?
No way. Okay, well, I guess I'll... Just see if she'll eventually bleed. I, I have to assume she's going to bleed, right? Oh, shit. Oh, my God. The dogs fucked him up right there. Dang. If only the dogs would actually work for me <laughs> and then not start attacking each other and bugging out when I bewitching branch them. Surely bewitching branch the troll. So he's still branched. It just, he totally is like, he's totally messed up <laughs> when he get wow, that's really something. That is really something, dude. Dang. He's like completely useless. <laughs> like he doesn't attack anybody. That's so weird. Do bewitching branches last forever? Like, until they're killed? Oh, three minutes? Okay. Well, the strat's gonna be good. It's just a matter of... trying to figure out if I can... consistently get him branched from far away. I wonder if that three minute timer is only active when he's like loaded in. That's so weird. Simply. I wouldn't mind the dragon on my team. Which all dogs at once. It's still kind of not like I don't. How would I realistically be able to do that? Okay, finally, it, it's done. It's done. All right. What? Oh, what is that? What is this? Oh. Yeah, White Shadow's lure is not a terrible idea either. This is so disappointing though, because... Like, what if I want to do this strat on some other run? I Like, I'm not going to go get White Shadow's Lure. 
The only consistent way might be to to do it on the spawn. What happened right there? What what did she do? What what did she do right there? Oh, is she near a wall? Yeah, maybe she's near a wall. That would make sense. <laughs> This lie down strat doesn't even work in phase two because you get roll caught by the summoning attack like that. Man, this is... It looked so good at first, and now it's just like, now he's jumping around every time I try to use it. He doesn't attack the boss, <laughs> and like, it looks so good. Branch the kids. Come, oh, there must be a way to do this, man. Why is he dashing away? Is it because I'm going too close or? Oh my God, man. How was that even working at first? I don't even get it. Maybe, maybe I'll give you the best nut ever. Uh, Master Me, thanks for the 22 month resub, dude. Running right while locked on and, dodge and dodging right worked pretty well for you. And also, everyone in Bingo last season running right was questioning why. They didn't despawn the Bloodhound. Like, for doing this strat, you're saying? Or for what? Come, sworn giants. I could try parry. I just don't understand why he's sidestepping all of a sudden. I must have, maybe I just got really lucky earlier. When you kill them, they don't actually stay dead, right? Or I have no idea.
Oh. Surely that's the master on strat. <laughs> Just kill them, dude. Just one shot them. I also never really thought to use camera retaliation on her before, somehow. I wonder how much damage it would do. Modding affects the AI? No, it, it wouldn't. There's two types of jump attacks. Well, what do you mean by that? Because when he's... After he does his initial spawning attack, which is the same every time, then I'm as far as I'm aware, he can only do one attack. That's it. Well, that clearly doesn't work. He still he still despawned anyways, I guess. That is so weird. No, I I, I wouldn't want to do a parry stride here anyways, like I think at that point, it would be way harder than just doing the status strat, you know? Well, maybe not, but it looks like it doesn't even work, so... He doesn't summon dragon again. Yeah. Why is your AI so fucked up? Oh! Yeah, it's fucked up. Man, this is so annoying. But yeah, it, it is looking like the opening is kind of the... Like, the only way to do it, but how is that even true? How could that be true, dude? Am I pairing the clock? That but, but, yeah, there's no point in doing that because I can already... You can already branch him safely on the opening move. Like, the, the whole thing here is that sometimes I'm going to be far away. And it would be quite nice to be able to branch him no matter what. Like, not have to do it on the opening. Like, so, right, like right here, for example. She summons. If she summons him, there's no way that I could really do it because I'm dealing with an attack already. Although, maybe I could have actually, but...
there must be a good way to do this. I've never seen him dash like this before. Like, I've, I've, I've never seen it. Maybe, you know what? Maybe there is something weird that's happening. I, I'm... I guess normally I despawn him immediately, though. And so why earlier was he not... <sighs> why earlier was he not doing that dash like just rng oh whoops <laughs> not what i meant to do what the hell dude that was kind of close I guess when you do kill them, she doesn't respawn them, right? Is that true? Maybe, maybe I'll give you the best nut ever. Wait, why don't I see that? What the hell? I don't see a notification for that. Um, I'll check that in a second. I don't know why I don't see that. But thanks, whoever that was. <laughs> I, I didn't see what it was, but... Notifications busted? Like, doing it on the opening is fine. That That looks perfectly fine. And then he literally four shots her. Except I guess if you get unlucky. And then at this point, you would just... <sighs> at this point, you would just do the wolf strat, probably. And you know what? Actually, most of the time in the master run, he's, she's going to die from like poison and rot by this point. It's annoying that there's not ah, insane tracking. Annoying that this seems so. That's it, it. Seems like something that should work, but it just doesn't. But it's still, it's still pretty good, though. It's still. It's just still doing it on the opening is good. Okay, let me see why my notifications are messed up here. Uh, level 99. Dad, thanks for the brand new sub, dude. I don't know why it was messed up. Thanks so much, dude. Alright, I didn't plan on fighting Renala for like an hour and a half today, but I would like to figure this out. There's something I can do. Yeah, it was working well at the start. I guess, let's just, I mean... 
I will just try... Oh boy. What is this? How do you spell this Ash of War? <laughs> White Shadows Lure. There we go. Yeah, I like, yeah, that was pretty, uh, that was pretty rough, <laughs> that, that particular fight. Not my best dragon can fight, that's for sure. What a nice attack. Oh, the wolves don't even go after it. That's... I guess they're beasts, so... Surely the moon will go after that. But yeah, like that's not even good. <laughs> he just Hmm. It'd be really funny if that made him despawn when you, like, hit him in the face or something. Also, I guess with the troll, does she stop attacking after a bit? Why do you dash away? Like, even if he only did that some of the time, you'd still be able to, like, do what I was saying earlier, which is just react to it, whether or not he dashes, and then... Only Bewitching Branch when he doesn't dash, but he's just, he's dashing every single time. Holy shit, dude. That's crazy. Literally stealth patched as we are doing this. <laughs> That's the only explanation. Because... Like, I don't know. I, every time he's dashing and before he wasn't, so... Miyazaki is in the stream right now. That moon spell is so cool. It's probably my favorite spell in the game. Even though it's not insanely good. It's pretty good, but... Yeah, Miyazaki, give me that prime sub, dude. I know you're in the chat. I think, yeah, I think you just got to do it on the opening. Because this clearly... 
Oh. No. Uh, gong face, dude. I appreciate that. I hate testers. Watch this. I'm just testing something else here, David. I'm testing uh, the Bewitching Branch strat on the Bloodhound, which... It's good. But I want to see if I'm able to get one off safely if I'm not close, at, like, when she summons him. And right now, it's not looking so good. But that works. I but like I there's no reason why that shouldn't work. Don't backstep, buddy. Don't backstep again, please. Don't do it. Ah, bastard. See, so at, at this point in the fight, if we do this strat, then we would go and do the beast torch at this point, I guess, right? Because it would be, like, it's so weird how the Bloodhound gets so messed up when he comes back in, but. Come, oh, sworn giant. Uh, the Beast Torch strat is basically just waiting for the wolves. And the wolves are beasts, so they get scared of the Beast Torch, and then Ranala can't attack you, basically. just can't figure it out it's it's horrible to see really he's lost his he's lost it <laughs> Come, oh, sworn giant. he completely has lost it he's lost his mind oh look at that i'll learn some stuff about this fight though at least I don't think you can hear him out using the common sir. What is wrong with you, dude? It, it you know, like it just totally messes up his AI. Like he's totally bugged out. Like, there's obviously some coding issue with that, right? <laughs> like...
Oh, why no despawn? Like what could it what could be happening with that? No, it's it there's no way it's the practice tool that does that. Really? Oh my god, you just can't even get out of that. Yeah, I guess he probably... Well, he's not even... He's not even going after me, though. He's just, like, randomly swinging. Well... that tracking dude I want to try to headshot him but I'm I just want to see when he spawns in if something weird happens Okay, well, I I don't know what to do. Let's switch to some Skyrim music, dude. This feels like Skyrim moment. Just tons of bugs and all this stuff happening. I would love to see the, some of these dogs attacking Ranala, but they just don't either. weird I mean... Oh! Maybe? If 
if I jump a little bit forward and land over here, he is not dashing. Look at that. But if I just jump like to the side and slightly back, he does dash. But you forward. The side. Okay. Surely that's it, right? No, don't do it to me now, you fucking loser. Oh my... <laughs> Wait, why are you going after me, though? I guess... Okay, I just, I'm just too far. Okay, um, maybe that's it. That the dude that coded this has the last name Macaroni. <laughs> probably. What a terrible joke. But probably. Macaroni. Jimmy Macaroni, dude. <laughs> That's him. Jimmy Macaroni. It's not even spaghetti code, dude. It's macaroni code. So yeah, I think if you can be close, you go close, and you like do it as soon as she summons, but if you can't, like if she's doing common as, or if she's doing ranged and you're just not close enough, then you, so like here, I would, I would go in on this, but let's test this strat again. So, Ash? Seems good. Come, oh, sworn giant. This is really... Uh, wait, what's going to happen here? Come on, buddy. Ah. Okay, so he got killed, so now what happens, I wonder? I'm not actually sure. Why is she attacking with the wolves out now? What is going on in this boss fight? Is she, I guess she had it queued up from the troll. Yeah, probably, yeah. So like I said, I think if if the Bloodhound Knight loses, then you just go with the Beast Torch strat, I, I guess, right? Okay, well, this is, I mean, this is interesting, right? Not sure if this will be useful for anything, but definitely the, if I ever do the Nightmare All Great Runes run, that's useful, right? Yeah, we just go Beast Torch then. Alright, so should I actually do this? On the run?
Yeah, per yeah, perfect shot for third last boss. Yeah. It speeds it up a lot, though. Like, especially if you get him right away and you're actually in a good spot. And generally, I'll, I'll have three extra branches, so... Okay, let's let's see like a more normal fight here. I do think I do think using rot pots at the beginning is a good idea. I got clipped by that right there. Somehow, man, that fucking that attack is actually brutal when you're trying to stay close. Need to, I need to practice that or something. I mean, look how much faster that is. So much faster than like trying to <laughs> use the statuses, but the status is probably safer. Uh, phase phase one's pretty well established at this point. Um, Yeah, phase one's pretty simple. I do, I do, I want to try. Huh. What if I branch the? <laughs> Wait. Yeah, yeah. Here we go. Could you imagine if they actually did damage to the boss? Somehow? <laughs> this is so funny. I wonder if I grab one of those summoners, if they will, like, throw a... A fucking urn at somebody. A globe. Dude, this is so funny. <laughs> How many of these can you hold? Oh, only 10. Cuz could you imagine you get you get like a stat like 100 of these and then you come into the fight and just get a whole army of the students? Yeah, they're yeah, they're smart to limit to 10, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Speed up first phase with this? No, not really. Like like how? How would it help me?
Yeah, you, dude, you could drop a bunch of branches at the door. You actually could. That's a good point. We need to infuse her books with black flame. That's clearly the answer. Give her black flame blade, black flame book, and she'll just chip down Renala. Oh, dude, imagine how cool it would actually be if somehow that was possible. She just, like, actually kills the boss for you and you just sit here and do nothing. Has it not been three minutes yet? Oh. Yeah, but you, you could still get like 80 branches, I guess, technically, right? You get a, you could get enough branches to be witching branch every single student. <laughs> That'd be so funny. God, that sounds like such a fun run somehow. Like such a meme run idea, dude. Like pacifist run, but you're taking it to the next level. I'm just killing her instantly for phase two. The phase two is the thing I want to test. Like phase one, the strat we do for phase one is already perfectly good. Yeah, it's all these attacks that are so annoying. So yeah, I don't even think I use a, a Beast Torch. Unless... Unless the... Like, after we do the Bloodhound, then we use the Beast Torch, I guess. Come, oh, sworn giant. So in this case, we're far. So now I'm going to jump slightly forward. Works like a charm, dude. Beautiful. Now, do I actually do this on a run? I'm going to have to practice this more before I actually do that, but... Okay, let me find... Let me see if I can find... Uh... A Radagon save. Yeah, that's pretty close. That's a nice strap. I, I want to use that on some other run. Somewhere. I'm not sure which run I'd use it on other than other than the uh nightmare run, but what's up, uh, gamer crab? Yeah, I, I it is I, I really like the strat, dude. That's really nice. Okay, so what I want to see here is if Black Flame Tornado is actually viable on this fight. The only, the only place I can really imagine it being good is on the transition, like actually being able to use it. So I'm going to try it there and see. 
Like, maybe there... I don't know. Maybe there's some openings in other fights to use it, but I just... I don't know. Anyone have any ideas on where else I could use it? Like, maybe the... I wonder on the Horlu transition phase. I doubt it, but... It's actually a really fun boss, dude. I still wouldn't give him an S tier, though, but... Pretty close. Nightmare... Well, I, I will probably do it no-hit eventually. So, th so that's why I'm saying that. Because I've actually... I, for the Nightmare run, I've already beaten all the main bosses, so... I think I will eventually do it no-hit. Like, you know what? Even here. Let's try here. I doubt it, but let's see. One... Yeah, no chance. It's way too slow. And, and there's no point in only doing, like, a short tornado because it just does almost no damage, so. Okay, now here is where I think I can probably use it. Motherfucker. <laughs> Jesus, dude. Yeah, I guess I could do rot pots at the beginning. It's just the the reason like I, I kind of conserve them is just because I was worried about how many butterflies I would get. But I I guess yeah, I could I could use them more now that I I know that there's a lot of pickups next to millennia. Are are two rot pots enough to proc them on NG plus seven? Not sure if they are. Let's speed up the fight though. Uh, NG plus change and change the AI. Uh, it doesn't change the AI. It just changes basically numbers. That's it. I'm just, uh, I'm mostly just testing stuff right now, uh, Karino. I want to test if Black Flame Tornado could be used on this fight safely.
Looks safe to me. Okay, okay, so then... Okay, so that looks safe. Okay, so this will improve the fight then, for sure. So what I need to do, I, I think, is instead of doing, like, frost attacks there, do... I, like, Moth Flight is 100% worth it still. So... Damn, like, we're almost not going to get any fight after that <laughs> transition happens, dude. Might just die, almost. Uh, Godric... Godric's not hard to no-hit, but he's, he's a very, like, awkward boss, I would say. Uh, Strat for Elden Beast is just Black Flame Tornado. <laughs> Whoops, I didn't should not have done that, probably. Never really tried parrying any of his attacks, like that one. I wonder if that could be a good strat. Okay, so in here, we go Moth Flight. Is that much better than what I normally get? I don't know, I guess it actually doesn't seem to change it that much. Probably because I normally get a frost there. And the frost and tornado is probably similar, right? I don't know, man. I'm not, I, maybe I'll try another fight. I, I, I don't know if it's worth it. Which one is riskier? 
Well, the tornado would be more consistent because, like I said, most of the time I get frost there, but sometimes I don't. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that many. <laughs> So I, I think Tornado probably is more consistent and better there. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I probably should use it. Holy shit, what am I doing, man? Literally <laughs> zero attention here. Can't play Bloodborne because it makes you sick. Should you play DS3 instead? Probably. Why? Because the frame rate or what? Gotten hit like four times on this fight, dude. Man, I need to roll into that. Yeah, I guess that's true, chicken sandwich. Yeah, it's not... Uh... Not for the faint of heart, I guess. That game. Holy fuck, wow. So it does around 2,000 damage on him. Like, I, I think it's worth it. And we got terrible RNG here, so we didn't even get our Moth Flight off. Um, I don't believe you can fall off the edge. Whoops. Classic. Extra roll. Dude, yeah, like, even though we didn't get the moth fight off, he's still... Like, we might not even need another frost here. Okay, tornado it is, then. I think it's better. More consistent, too. Whoops. I think there was something else I wanted to test also, but I can't remember now. Oh, on Horlu, I wanted to test it. Yeah, that's fair, Nuts. That's definitely fair, dude. <clears throat> People complain about FPS, but console games releasing this year that are 30 FPS. That's true, but I, I feel like... I mean, what games? Like, Starfield, I think, on console was 30 FPS, and I, I think 30 FPS is bad. But... 
it's made 20 times worse if you're you're in an action game right and and like 30 fps when we're talking bloodborne on a like on the consoles made for a base ps4 you're lucky if you're getting 30 fps in that game dude most of the time when i was playing is was 24 for the most part and and you're fighting bosses there's a lot going on and it's an action game and there's a ton of movement and it just looks it looks like garbage so on the ps5 it's definitely much better and it actually is consistent 30 fps but but yeah i think I, I think that's the difference to me dude so so a game like starfield first of all i played on pc so like it was fine but but even a game like that like there's not non-stop action happening your eyes don't see a difference between 30 and 60. I, I can't comprehend that, but. People have told me that before. I just, I can't comprehend it. Like, I can't even imagine what it would look like. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so what I maybe it would go in the main hand. Let's just let's just try this and see what happens. Maybe I should have made a new save. Well, 60, 60 FPS in my in my mind, if I'm playing an action game, sixty FPS is kind of the. That should be the, like, lowest, you know? But yeah, I guess it, it depends. It, it does depend on, like, what you're playing on, right? Like, if if you're on, like, a really old monitor or something, like, I, I don't know, then maybe it doesn't just, it, it can't, it doesn't have the refresh rate, and then that way you're not seeing the difference. Like, I suppose that's possible, right? Or like I'm sure some old TVs or whatever, but so so in that way, then that could be the case. But that's not actually not it's not you not seeing a difference between thirty and sixty. It's just the like your whatever monitor or TV you're using, and it, it literally looks the same. But if that's not the case, then, like I said, I actually can't. I wouldn't be able to comprehend, <laughs> like, not being able to see a difference between the, the two. Like, I, 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 I just don't understand. Oh, uh, no, we finished the continuation. Oh, well, I guess the splits are, yeah. We, we ended up with just another two hit. I got hit on Godric because I went for an extra attack on something. But, yeah, it was, it was a solid run, I mean... Right now, I'm just I'm testing out some new things that might be improvements to some bosses. We got a bleed. Yep, there it is. Yeah, and, and you know what? The thing to me, too, is that I talk about it a lot, like the frame rate of Bloodborne, and that's one of the main reasons why I don't like it as much as the other Souls games, but it, I, like, I, it's also it's different to me when the main reason I even play these games is to do like no-hit runs on them, especially just the normal Dark Souls games, and like Bloodborne included as a linear game. Um... And so for me, that, that probably matters more.
Is he ever going to transition <laughs> to phase two? Yeah, like, I, I don't think... It, because he does this sort of thing, I don't think it's even... I don't think it's worth even trying to use Tornado. Like, you wouldn't use it there. I wonder if this is actually intended. It's probably not. Like, basically, what, what's happening here is he, he has his, like, phase two thing queued up. But he keeps queuing up other attacks that, I guess, take priority, and so he just never does it. <laughs> oh my god, it's not even... <laughs> it's, it's not even close to fast enough. Maybe, maybe... I don't, I don't really see where else I'd use it. Ever. So I, I will I will use it on Radagon. I think that improves the fight and will most of the time make it faster. Uh, Canvas, thanks for the random prompt sub, dude. I, I could have sworn there was something else I wanted to test, though, but... Maybe not. Hmm. I'm wondering if it makes more sense if it makes sense to fight Renala earlier in the run. Because with that Bloodhound strat, we easily could, right? Like sort of. I, I just, I don't, I don't, I'm not sure if that would give any benefit to anything. And I, I was trying to think like, okay, could we fight her as one of the great rune bosses to get into the capital? But if we, the thing is, Redan's so important to fight on this run. You know what, dude? I, well, actually, no. Well, on the nightmare run, it might make more sense to kill Renala early. I think I will do that, Dylan, yeah. I think that that'll be the run I do, like, after this one, probably. Uh, he's important for the Black Wet Blade. But yeah, on the Nightmare Run, we wouldn't need the Black Blood Blade, obviously, right? So. Gotta blow my nose again, dude.
<clears throat> no, Nightmare would not have poison and rot. No, 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 like zero status effects. And no block flame. I think I will do that. Like, I'm pretty... I'm almost set on doing it at this point. It is pretty late. I, I'm not sure. I didn't actually plan on doing that for two and a half hours. What's better overall? Dual wielding or two-handing? Just depends. Depends what kind of build you're going with. Status build probably too, like, dual wielding, but... Big weapon and poise break build, definitely do handing. <laughs> you witching branch count as a status? It is definitely not a status. Status has a build-up bar and gets procced. That is, does not have either. Basically, the, the main idea is staying away from percentage-based damage. That's it. That's that's the entire thing with the Nightmare Run. It's just no percentage-based damage. So, yeah, you could definitely consider Bewitching Brand's au an aux effect. Like, I guess it is. Depending on how you want to define it. Um, but I would allow that. What's up, Spencer? And uh, Nara, how's it going, dude? So yeah, Bewitching Branches would probably fall under that. I think um, there was something else I was using. There was something else that I was thinking about. Bewitching Branch, and then there was one other thing, but... Black flame is not a status now. It, it's just a it's just a percentage damage effect. Oh yeah, crystal darts is what. Yeah, you're right. Crystal darts is what I was thinking about. But yeah, in my mind, it's it's a it's a you you would probably consider that an auxiliary effect as well. But I would allow for the for that run. Even though I, I wouldn't use it anywhere, but the witching branches I would actually use. And probably at least two of the boss fights, right? Uh, probably for the Bloodhound Knight now. Like, that's that's 100 percent going to be the strat, especially on that run where we can't use status effects to, you know, um, slowly take down Ranala. So that's that's basically our only option of actually dealing damage. Other than like what I would do is a combination between that strat, <clears throat> that strat, and the normal wolf strat without statuses. So the normal wolf strat with the beast torch is you. You cause three of the wolves to aggro to you and disappear. You would start attacking Ranala. You attack her for as long as you can before she summons again. Once she summons again, you take off the Beast Torch. Allow the other wolf to come and despawn without attacking him. Let whatever else she summoned attack and despawn. And then you rinse and repeat that strat, basically. Because it's really unfortunate that the Bloodhound Knight gets all bugged out with the Bewitching Branch when he gets resummoned. Because if he didn't, then you wouldn't even have to do that. You would just let him take a, take care of the whole fight. But unfortunately, not how it works. Uh, do spirit ashes have any utility? Um, not on this run that I can think of. I, I'm sure. I'm sure they could be useful. I don't really want to use them though.
Um, other people have done similar runs to this, Chandler. Not not quite this, uh, like not. I, I think this run has been done on base NG cycle, except with stat boosting, I believe. So so somebody has done all great runes, level one plus zero. I just the reason I decided to just skip that is because, like this run. This run on its own already isn't that insane. And, and, uh, and so, so I just thought I would just go straight to NG plus seven because this game has so many options for stuff, right? It just makes the run a lot easier. Um, so yeah. And yeah, I also decided on no stat boosting as well. Just because I, I think <sighs> there's just way too many stat boosting items in the game. So I wonder I wonder what would be harder, though. Like probably this run with no statuses, but with stat boosting would be harder than this. Like I would have to imagine that. Just, I don't know, actually. It's I I would have to test that because spells become much stronger, like using sl carry and slicer, on a run like that. With meteorite staff, you get like forty five int, in carry and slicer. Probably still wouldn't. It, it would be I don't know. Depends on the boss, probably. Obviously, Maybe, a boss like Elden Beast would be harder, though, for sure. The best but yeah, I, I'm probably going to go just straight from this run to... I, I want to do this run all bosses. I would love to do that. But as far as the next step up on an all great runes, like main boss run, it'll be the, the nightmare run, I think. Uh, Scout, thanks for the six-month resub, dude. So, so yeah, that run, I'm probably going to skip Godskin Duo. Using Hand of Millennia. I'm probably going to skip Godskin Noble as well. Um, just because I can. Oh, we'll, we'll have to see. I don't know. Depends how honest I want the run to be. What good is skipping Noble on all bosses if the plus seven isn't used? Well, you, not on all bosses. I'm saying on all great runes. Oh, welcome. Welcome. I'm hungry. Uh, I think it's holy damage, McCarthy. Um, and yeah, when you get his weapon, it does the same Ash of War, basically, right? What is the strat for them in Nightmare Run? For for who? For Godskin Duo? Yeah, like I said, I'm probably I would probably just skip them on that run.
fucking scarab. I uh, skip him with the hand of millennia. Pretty, it's pretty easy to do actually. Let's go in Volmind. Uh, what does CBT mean? Uh, sea dogs. Well, I'm not doing it on this run, uh, Ray Hick, but I mean, I'm just talking for a run in the future. But I, I mean, would Godskin Duo Skip be a major glitch? I, I don't think so. Oh, co <laughs> cock behavioral therapy. You're right, dude. That is, that is what it is. My bad. Surely. Surely that's what it means. <laughs> but yeah, no, I, I wouldn't say I wouldn't say God skin skip is a major skip. You're not going out of bounds in any way. You're not You're not doing any any unintended mechanic is not involved, which is usually like when I try to think of something that's a, considered to be even a glitch in the first place. Like something, I, I think a lot of it just comes down to the use of a mechanic that is not meant to be in the game, you know? Which it doesn't involve, right? It's the same reason why gods get noble skip. I know I know, Team Hitless doesn't allow it, but it's not really, it's, it's, like it's not a glitch, right? You're just jumping. Now, obviously you're not meant to be able to jump up there, but you're not, like... It's not, it's not really the same. Uh, I did it the other day, Toto, in the, one of the, one of the streams. I forget which one. Yeah, it's not out of bounds, like, but yeah, for the Noble Skip, you just, or uh, God's Can Duo Skip, you just Hand of Millennia. And you could just make it to another platform that is not out of bounds. Like, it's just the platform after the boss. That's it. Like, it's not a, it's not a glitch. It's not. I wouldn't say that's a glitch. It's just unintended. So. Random hole in the wall to go out of bounds. Well, out of bounds, I would say, is a glitch. In, in my opinion. But, defi like, defining this stuff is pretty tough, right? Because what does out of bounds actually mean? That's That's the tough part. Who's Team Hitless? Team Hitless is like the, uh, I don't know how to describe them. It's the, it's, it's sort of like the main resource for no hit runners, basically. That's probably how it could be described. And, and so, yeah, they set like kind of baseline rules that people can follow and, and you can like get onto the team by submitting a no hit run and stuff. No, Team Hitless is good. I, I just don't follow the rules on, on Team Hitless. I just I just do whatever I think makes sense. <laughs> uh, tips for no hit Madeir. Just simply dodge backwards and stay at his head. That's it. 
It's one of the easiest no-hit fights in the game. Maybe, maybe I'll give you the best nut ever. Uh, Gerby, thanks for the brand new Prime sub. Thanks, dude. Uh, you don't you don't have to be able to equip the Hand of Millennia to still do the skip. You don't. You can just use the Ash of War still. No, I haven't checked out Dragon's Dogma too. What are my thoughts on Eldritch Six? Um, yeah, I'm, I, I would say I'm excited about it, even though. I don't know. What's the worst it could really be? Because, like, could it be worse than Skyrim? I don't know, man. Because think about how easy it would be to just make another Skyrim. And then, like, you know, maybe Skyrim's not a perfect game, but it's good enough, <laughs> I, I think. So I don't know, dude. Like, how could they... Even if they just re-put out Skyrim that, like, looks slightly better, I would still probably play that, dude. As long as it has a banging soundtrack and it's got a good open world to explore, it's probably fine. Even if they just release another Skyrim, basically. Well, I think Starfield... In my opinion, the main the main way they went wrong, like, the biggest annoyance for me in Starfield... It wasn't even necessarily that, like, the procedurally generated stuff and how big it was. I, I just... The, the amount of loading screens in that game and the amount of fast traveling, like... Hello. It was very unimmersive. And the older Elder Scrolls games, I would say, part of why they're so good is because they can't, they are immersive. Like, if you, you know, if you don't get a bunch of glitches, that is. But the amount of loading in that game is just brutal, dude. It makes it not fun to play, in my opinion. Because I want to, you know, like, I want to actually travel. I, I don't care if it's boring. If I'm playing an RPG, I want to... I want to actually travel to these other places and, you know, like, take off my with my ship. <laughs> I don't want to just, like, click a button and then a load screen happens and then you go to space. But then next thing you know, you're not even moving anywhere. Like, you have to just fast travel again, which is another loading screen. And so, yeah, I mean, immersive if there's no glitches. Well, even, I mean, even then, though, the glitches... They, they, they're not, they're more like funny glitches rather than like, wow, this really sucks and is annoying. So. How's it going? Number one Kcoms fan. <laughs> Kcoms alt account. So, so yeah, I think, um. Like, how could you make a Skyrim that has a shit ton of load screens in it, dude? And I, I'm pretty sure there's a mod in Starfield that actually fixes all that stuff. <laughs> so that's good, at least. But... but yeah, that was definitely a huge miss with Starfield. That's the biggest annoyance for me. Ah, it's Jay. Okay. <laughs> that makes sense. How's it going, dude? I think Starfield's idea is very good. Well, that I mean, that sort of game has been made before, right? When I was when I was first playing Starfield, everyone was telling me to go play uh, No No Man's Sky. I think it was, which seems like it's just a straight up better version. But but yeah, I mean, there's no question. There's a lot that they should improve on. Because, but like even the NPCs in Starfield, it's very it's very 2011 ish. You know? And when you compare that to some other games coming out now, like... Other games feel a lot more alive. Even though, like, there's a lot of people in, the in like, some of the cities and stuff, but... One example was that... Um... 
Like, I remember somebody pointed this out. Like, in, in, in Fallout... Or, not Fallout. In... Uh, what the fuck's the game called? Cyberpunk 2077. If you go into, like, a, a populated area and you shoot a gun, everyone gets scared and, like, runs away. Whereas in Starfield, you go into a big populated area, you start shooting, nobody cares. Like, that's... That's something in 2011 you get away with that, probably. But at this point, not so much. And so there's definitely some immersion things that need to be addressed, which in my, like again, that in my opinion, that's the biggest issue with that game. There's a lot of there's a lot of things in the game that are just fine. Like I think overall the game is fine. I don't think it's trash. Um, but it's definitely underwhelming compared to what it could have been. <laughs> Chicago. <laughs> yeah, I guess so, dude. Maybe. I'm just so used to it. So, so with Elder Scrolls, again, if they just... I don't know, man. If they basically just repeated Skyrim, then... That's probably the worst it could be, right? Hopefully. But maybe they add microtransactions in there or something. <laughs> you know, maybe maybe that's how they make it worse. It's literally just Skyrim repeat. The game still looks like it's made in 2011. To be fair, Skyrim in 2011 looked pretty damn good, but... It looks like trash for today's standards, and the AI's garbage, and there's a shit ton of load screens in the game, and you have to buy your, like, fast travels or something. That would definitely be the way to make it worse. But no, I, I think I'm I'm still excited for it, probably, I, I guess. Not as excited as I am for, like, Elden Ring fucking 2, but... Or Elden Ring DLC. Obviously. But... How likely uh, will it be to have Elden Ring 2? I have no idea. I really hope there's an Elden Ring 2, man. I, I, I would be... I would actually be so disappointed if... I mean, I I wouldn't hate to get another Souls game. Just like another basic Souls game with linear levels and stuff. But I, I think it would be kind of disappointing at this point. If it's just like another Dark Souls 3. You know, even if there's good boss in it, it's just, this game has so much more. And I think the majority of people probably wouldn't like it either, right? I think the, the older Souls fans that don't like Elden Ring as much would like it a lot. It's just another Souls game, but... I think a lot of people would be pretty disappointed. I mean, obviously I would play Dark Souls 4 also, but I'd, I'd much rather Elden Ring 2. Yeah, yeah, exactly. How do you go back from here? I exactly, dude. I don't think you can. I don't think you can add in all these extra... Like, if they make a game without jumping, without a real jump in it, even that would be so weird to do. They just released two games in a row that have jumping in it. So, so the next game, it's got to have jumping in it, right? How do you go forward? There's a I, I was talking about it yesterday on how how many things can be improved in this game and what I actually expect them to do. And yeah, I was talking about it last night a lot and how insane a game like that could be. Like this game's already really insane. And could you imagine if they if they fix the problems with this game? Or the things that they missed the mark on, like the caves and the catacombs was the main thing I was talking about last night, but you know, like also the bosses and the connectivity of the world and stuff. Oh man. And I, I think 
a direction I would like to see them take that probably most people wouldn't, but I would love to see a more lively world as well with better quests. Because think about how, like, I mean, let's be honest, dude, the quests in these games are not good. They're just not good, man. Like, I know some people like them and stuff, but... They're just not that good. That's probably a situation I should have used uh, Vow the Indomitable, but... Got away with it. I still think they could make a huge improvement to their ambient soundtrack. I would like that a lot. So, so yeah, there's a tons of improvements they could make in this game. And so that's what I think that's what the next step would be. And I, I think they could do it too. They're clearly capable, unlike Bethesda at this point, so... Unfortunately, the buff ran out there. Only ever played DS3 after they were done updating, but with Elden Ring, a lot of balance changes were actually really good. Yeah, I guess I'm in the same boat. I, I think, uh... I don't like some of the skips that they patched, I guess, but... I mean, yeah, I guess they, they did fine with that. Well, I don't know. I do like how they, you know, for, for patching, balancing and stuff, they, they made the majority of things stronger rather than weaker. Which I think is good. Because it's, it's, it's way more fun when things get stronger versus when things get weaker, right? But yeah, I also think in in the next in the next let's say they make Elden Ring 2, it would be nice if the balancing was kind of more skewed towards less damage output. And yeah. Like just less damage output possible. Cuz it, it is very high in this game, the the, the damage potential of things.
What? Most overrated Souls game. Um, I don't know, dude. I think it's either Bloodborne or Dark Souls 1. But those are also my two least favorites, so... Like, I, I think one thing about Bloodborne is that I, the amount of people that are, like, really big fans of the game is not that many. Like, com especially compared to the other Souls games, but... They're just very loud, I guess. <laughs> like, I don't know, dude. They're very passionate about it. But, uh, yeah, I think... I don't know, dude. I would say it's one of those two, because I think there's a there's a, obviously a huge amount of people who don't like Dark Souls 2, whether justified or not. There's quite a few people who don't like Dark Souls 3 that much, which is understandable, actually. Uh, there's... And, and Elden Ring... I mean, it could be Elden Ring also, too. You could argue that. You could certainly argue it's Elden Ring. But Elden Ring's a bit tougher because it's the first maybe, one that actually got big mainstream appeal, so there's a lot more ever. people playing the game. It's like their first Souls game and stuff, so... Uh, Ram Ranch, thanks for the 75 month resub, dude. <laughs> Jesus. Welcome back, dude. Yeah, and it's not even that Bloodborne and DS1 are bad games. That's not what I'm saying either. I just, I, I would say that if I were to pick, like, the games that I feel that people probably overrate slightly, it would probably be those two, but, um, yeah, so... I could tweak Bloodborne. Um, well, the issue to me aren't the area. Like, the level design in Bloodborne's very good. It's the boss quality is not so great. Um, I think the, the build variety is slightly lacking. Like, and it's not, not, well. I, I, what I like about Souls is that you have, you know, you have, like, so many different options of beating the game, right? You could do, like, bow only, magic only, all this stuff. Um, like, that's a bit more limited in Bloodborne, even though the weapons that are in the game are really well done. Like, I think that's probably the best part about the game, is that the weapons are all very unique and, uh, they're all fun to use. But that being said, it's still, like, very similar experience playing through the game. Uh, performance is probably the absolute biggest one. But yeah, so it, it, mainly it's bosses and performance. I'm personally not a huge fan of the, like, super dark atmosphere of the game, but that's just a preference thing. Um. Yeah, vials. I, I'm not a fan of vials at all, yeah, I guess. That's a very small thing, but yeah. So, so yeah, those would be probably the main things. And yeah, in terms of DS1, I think... One of the main reasons I, I, I like think of DS1 as an overrated... A game that's, you know, the most overrated of the Souls games is simply because of... 
Like, I'm, I'm, one of the main reasons is the ONS boss fight, dude. The amount of people I, I, I say, or I see, say that ONS is, like, one of, if not the best from software boss, like, that's insane, dude. Like, that fight on his own, on, on its own, is probably the most overrated fight in Souls games. If I were to have to pick one, I would have to imagine it's that one. But yeah, what I think about Bloodborne, though, is that a lot of people really like the atmosphere of the game. And... That is the that is the main reason why they like it so much. And and for me, that's not I mean that's something that is important, but first of all, I, I'm not a huge fan of it in Bloodborne. Again, just a preference thing, but Um that's also not like the most important thing to me either, so So yeah, that's where the, you know, that's where that comes from, I guess, like my opinion on that. Well, I think everything about ONS is amazing and like top tier, except for the actual boss fight. And, and that's, that's the problem, <laughs> right? Like they look so cool. And they, um, I guess, is that, I mean, maybe that's it, but they look really cool. And they have a cool arena, and the lead up to the boss is really sick, and they're in a very nice looking area. But man, that fight is so garbage, dude. So, so that's, that's the, that's like the disconnect, I think. Is sometimes people playing them on their first, their first time fighting them. You're not, you're not really thinking about that. You're just like, oh, wow, they look so cool. And now I beat this really hard boss. And so now I have, like, this huge sense of... I have this huge dopamine rush and, and like... It feels really good beating them. And so now I remember them fondly because I struggled and then actually beat them. Like, the first real challenge in DS1. So... Yeah, if they made o, if they made ONS now... <laughs> that's what, like, gods can do, oh. Kind of <laughs> is... Like, that's how... People would feel about it a bit more, I think. Now, uh, God's Gun Duo is actually garbage, though. ONS is better than God's Gun Duo, but... DS3 has one memorable boss. Um, Not sure what DS3 you played, but it wasn't Dark Souls 3, that's for sure. That's going nice, by the way. They from soft makes a very well balanced duo fight. Well, they have already done it. I mean, Demon Princes is that fight. That's it, dude. That's the perfect. That's like basically the perfect Souls game duo boss. <laughs> they remember Greatwood. <laughs> yeah, probably. my favorite where is wait where in my favorite list is ds2 it's it's my second favorite after elden ring and before you say i'm insane it's the main reason for that is because in my opinion it's an extremely good no hit game that's kind of the main reason with the like amount of build variety the amount of content in the game to do some of the mechanics that Almost seemed like geared towards no hit runs, sorta. Built in challenges. It's a lot of stuff that I kind of wish was included in the other Souls games, but it's just not.
Who's built in, dude? Cough up your coin. All of it. Uh, Kav, thanks for the donation, dude. But yeah, there's no doubt there's a lot of things that DS2 does worse, especially for, I, I think, normal playthroughs of the game. But I don't really do normal playthroughs, so... Or, like, blind casual playthroughs. Like, I think DS2 almost is objectively the worst one for that. So, like, especially if you're playing it totally blind. Let's go on CBD, by the way. Kind of made a lot of extra pots there, dude. But yeah, well, yeah. With all that being said, though, you know, even though I said probably Bloodborne and DS One is the most overrated out of the games, like in my personal tier list of all the games, there's very little. Um, like the gap between my favorite, which would be Elden Ring, and my least favorite, which would be probably Bloodborne, is not that big. It's not it's just some huge gap where I just hate Bloodborne and love Elden Ring or something. And yeah, speaking of DS2, actually, I, I'm definitely going to be going back at some point in time. Maybe after I finish, like, Master Run All Bosses or something in this. To do level 1 plus 0 while bosses no hit in that game. Because I got close to getting it a few years ago, and I just did other stuff after, so. That is one run I said for sure I was going to do. How was it already almost five o'clock, dude? I guess I guess I was fighting Ranala for a while. But yeah, also if I were to make a tier list on which <laughs> Like, which of the games are most fun to no hit? So, so when it comes to the game, like, out of all the Souls games, um, my favorite to play casually is by far this one. Like, by, a, a, it's not even close. But for no hit running, this one's right at the bottom. It's, it's probably, it's the least fun to no hit, but it's probably the most fun to just play normally. Which is why, at, you know, after two years of playing the game, I haven't done that many no-hit runs on it, and I haven't even done a run like this, or I've only done one all-boss no-hit run and stuff. It, The main reason is because it's not as fun to play it this way um, compared to the other Souls games are. But yeah, when it, when it does come to the other Souls games, like Dark Souls 3, playing that game casually is not, like... It's so much more fun to do no-hit runs in that game for me. And it's the same with all the other Souls games, basically, so... So yeah, it's not like I, I enjoy this game in every possible way more than the other ones. Especially when a big part of the no-hit runs are the boss fights too, right? That's a huge part of the no-hit runs, and, th and this game just has worse bosses, just straight up. And the running sections in these games are not very interesting compared to Souls games, where they are very interesting and you have to you know, spend a lot of time mapping them out and all that stuff.
You know, it's probably faster to go through the, the portal, I'm realizing, than run through here, but... Yeah, that's true, Wiener. I, I mean, I'm not even including Sekiro in this, but... I think Sekiro is fun to do runs on, for sure, but the only problem is that... Just so much of the same stuff every time, I guess. Like, not having any build variety in the game is not great. For me. What's up, Collins? Um, well, so the the hit I got, um, so basically I, I parried and reposted her, but I had to drink FP. And when she's coming out of a, when she's coming out of that stand-up animation, I'm fairly certain you just have less time to react to the, the quick double swipe, which is what I got hit by. So I parried slightly late on it. So, it, it, like, I should have recognized that in my practice against her. Um... So, so basically, I'm just not going to parry that move when she when she does it after standing up. Because it just... Like, the animation sort of blends in with the stand-up animation. So you just have less time. And it's already a pretty quick attack to have to parry, so... Uh, if a 50-hour player like yourself want, would want to do Remembrance's... Remembrance boss is no hit. What weapon would I suggest? Probably the best one is the Star Fist. If you're looking to... Like, are you talking about a no-hit run or just the bosses individually? Like, Starfist are the strongest weapons in the game. So, there's that, but, you know, there, there could be other weapons that might be easier based on your, like, level of boss knowledge, right? Because, for example, using the Dark Moon Greatsword to no-hit Morgoth is probably easier than using the Starfist because you could just attack him from range, sort of. Yeah, so that's what got me on Millennia. So it's very, very easily, easily correctable. Just I, I kind of wish I'd known that <laughs> before getting hit to it. But it was a good run, though. Like everything was pretty solid on that run. It's nice to get another any percent too. Wasn't even through halfway through the game after 50 hours. Bro talking about no hit runs already. <laughs> That's like me on my first playthrough of DS3, dude. The gods demand repentance. My first playthrough of a Souls game. Uh, Gizmo, voice. thanks for the $5 All donation, dude. I appreciate that. Uh, thanks so much, dude. But yeah, what, what I did, my first playthrough of DS3, I, I quit the game and then... I quit the game at around Irithyll. And then the reason I got back into the game was I saw that I saw Braz's no hit run on YouTube, and then, and I was like, man, I want to do a no hit run, <laughs> basically after that. So there's nothing wrong with doing that, dude. YouTube app is trash. You have to like update it or something. Uh, before Souls Likes, I was playing, I was playing Elder Scrolls. I was playing Warframe, Minecraft. Um. Like, I played Swator for a while. Like, I don't know. Just random games. I, I, I've played WoW a tiny bit, but the, the MMO that I played the most was Swator by a long shot. Surely my stamina is not going to get me shouted at by this guy here.
I got hit by a millennia of valence. Yeah, the gargs. I think all the gargs that fly in have a hitbox. Like, it's the same with the uh, Forbidden Lands guy. Yeah, it was a, it was a really, really good run. Like, I'm not upset that I got hit on that at all. I think uh, it's basically like the second or third actual attempt of trying to get it. So, in a run like this, there's a lot of stuff that I've had to learn. So, taking a bit longer to get it is not unexpected at all. If it does end up taking me a bit longer. I'm just, I'm very excited to start routing all bosses on this, dude. It might, it might be so bad, but <laughs> like, I still just want to see what it, it would look like. There's definitely no guarantees that I'm actually going to do that because how garbage some of the bosses are. And who knows if you even can do them consistently. But there's zero guarantee that I would do that. I just want to see. Maybe, maybe. If it's doable, I'll do it, probably. Not ever. All bosses except for the garbage ones. <laughs> That'd be quite a few bosses taken out. Uh, Nanu, thanks for the four month prime sub. Welcome back. Yeah, the problem are the NPCs and the duos. Some of the duos already we have strats on, no problem. The Crucible Knight duo and... I don't know, like, some other ones, I'm sure. But some of the ones that I don't know... Even, like, the the misbegotten Crucible Knight, the red main duo, like, what the fuck do you do there, man? You're just, you're just toast. They're just such poorly designed bosses, man. So I, I don't know. It's, it's not like you can just go into that boss. So, you know, like the... Well, maybe you can, I guess, but... It's not like going into that fight on Demon Princes or something where it's like, okay, yeah, I just, I just fight him and, you know, the fight just works out. Uh, Dark Souls Trilogy all bosses. I, I might eventually, but I'm not gonna lie, that run's pretty boring. I'm just, at, at this point in time, I'm not such a huge fan of doing meta routes through the Dark Souls games, especially. Especially Dark Souls 2 and 3, because I've already done, like, I've already done quite a few all bosses runs in those games, and it's just kind of more of the same. But I might do it eventually still. There's a way to get Crucible Knight and Misbegotten stuck while you're in the sidewall. Really? Okay, well that sounds like it could be good. Needs to be nighttime here. Yeah, so, so in routing that run, though, I'm sure we're going to have to figure out a bunch of strats that will make a lot of those shit bosses actually doable. But yeah, the NPCs, I mean, it's it's not... It is never fun fighting an NPC on a no-hit run, especially straight up. Like, Vike, who's, by the way, immune to all fucking statuses for some reason. And not to mention Garus. We have a strat for Esgur already, which is nice, because he's annoying as hell, too, but... I don't know. A lot of, a lot of things that we're going to figure out. Stormhawk at home. I mean, this is probably better than Stormhawk, this setup, right? I mean, at least in terms of getting lightning damage off. It's better. Okay, you could try it. You could compare a, tw a plus 25, like, Highland Axe with Lightning Slash on it to compared to the Stormhawk Axe. 
I would I would probably take the Highland Axe over it. Most times. Well, I don't know. The Ash of War, even apart from just adding damage, is actually pretty good on Stormhawk. And I've never I've never actually tried a plus twenty five version of um like Storm Collar or whatever it's called. So I'm not sure if that's comparable at all. He's come back in the water. We should have buffed there. I don't know. Oh my god, dude. So annoying. Limblade, Limblade, Glimblade. Limblade, Glimblade, Glimblade. No, Loretta's not a shitty boss. It's, Loretta's actually a decent boss. It's just the spam is insane. <laughs> I, ooh. There's way too much Glimplate spam and jump backs. Oh my god, fuck you, dude. I'm so stupid, man. I just, for some reason in my head, I was in phase one right there. <laughs> Whoops. God damn it, dude. That That's part of the reason why I don't follow Loretta out into the woods. But. Whoops. I think that was, a, that was the first hit I've taken on, on Loretta in... I don't even know how long, dude. Minus one hour. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure. Like, I want to see if I could have seen that. Like, I could have heard it for sure. I was actually more thinking in my head there, too. Like, yeah, I'm, I'm not... That I was going to get, like, the bow sure. attack or something. Whoops. But yeah, I shouldn't have I shouldn't have followed it out here is the main mistake, I guess. Yeah, dude, I just messed up. I was just trying to get back out into the arena, and yeah, I just, I just messed up, dude. That was really stupid to go out there. Dang. Whoops.
Well, it's just I, I should I, I like to stay out in the in the water part because first of all, I get more damage because of lightning, but then also I can see properly and not get stuck on trees and stuff. I just I shouldn't have gone out in there. That was really dumb. Well, I'm not sure if I'm gonna do another run of this today because. I don't know if I feel like doing that again and then ending <laughs> right when I get back to her, so. Ah, man, that's brutal. Um. Well, maybe we could do another run, I guess. That setup is so annoying. All right, I guess we will. <laughs> War zone. The painful part of Elden Ring now hit right here, dude. Resetting when you're not even far in the run. And you just gotta run through everything again. You probably, um... Look at some bingo stuff, too. That'd be a good usage of time. Maybe, maybe I'll give you the best nut uh, ever. Verdant, thanks for the burning prime stuff, dude. Man. Oh, have you? S oh, wait. Oh, that, yeah, I guess it makes sense better, yeah. I mean, I've, I thought about doing that for, like, actual runs, but... And, and you wouldn't expect it too, right? Because it's not like we're going to upgrade our weapon. We're not going to get runes to level up or something. But the setup on this run is actually just straight up worse than normal runs. Like by, a, by quite a bit, actually. By quite a bit. Because the, the most optimal way to do this would be to go get Red Feather. Go get Lightning Slash before fighting Red Wolf. And, and that takes like, dude, that takes alone like 55 minutes or 50 minutes to go do. So I actually, like, I willingly fight Red Wolf with a worse setup on this just so that I can get it out of the way sooner. Be kind of nice to just start the run at Red Wolf, huh? <laughs> like, start it right at Red Wolf. What's up, Croak? Wouldn't that be nice? Against starting from a safe file? Yeah, like, I think that's definitely not... I probably wouldn't do that. I, I fight Red Wolf early because it's a very dangerous boss. Oops, what a huge mistake. <laughs> <laughs> I was, was not paying attention. 
But if I did Millennia early, it makes no sense. Yeah, Elden Beast is the most dangerous boss in the run, and so he he should be done as soon as possible. And we do him basically as soon as possible. Yeah, I mean, what would a fair way to negate some of the setup time on a run like this be? I, I remember Hob, a, I think a long time ago, talking about using like a torrent speed up mod or something. How long would the setup be on... I guess the if I do the nightmare run, let's say, the setup would be literally the exact same. Except I would have to kill the red on that run, though. So you'd probably do... You'd probably do Red Wolf and then go straight into... I guess the Redan fight, right? Like, that'd be a, a lot of time saved. Well, I the thing is, I usually don't now. Like, um, I usually don't. Do the same setup. Like I, I, I very rarely grind out runs in Elden Ring at this point. But yeah, part of the reason I haven't done more runs like this in Elden Ring is simply because of the, uh, this early game stuff. Like it's just, it's just not fun to do, man. No, I don't kill Sion. Uh, yeah, it's just, it's no, it's no percentage damage, Croak, that's it. So no Black Flame, no status. Well, it, yeah, and, like, no status at all, so no sleep and stuff. Basically. Hello? I'll probably do that after this. Can you hear me? Maybe, maybe, I'll give you the best nut ever. Yeah, on this run, I mean, we have to fight, we have to fight Loretta on it, basically, dude. There's not really a reasonable way around it. Getting Chilling Mist is so good, and getting Rot Pots and Rot Grease Crafting is basically essential, so... Moon Man, thanks for the brand new Prime stuff, dude. <sighs> or, you know what, maybe what it is also, maybe over the years of doing the hit runs, maybe just now I... I'm just not as tolerant to doing tons of, like, early game grinding for runs anymore, dude, I don't know. Not maybe, sure if that's true, maybe. or if it's just Elden Ring. I'll give you the best nut ever. Uh, Sava, thanks for the gifted sub. Thanks, dude. Spending almost two hours today getting the Morgoth Nightmare Mode kill. Died under 30% HP three times. Yeah, Morgoth's tricky, dude. What what setup are you using for that? Like, the, the axe, or... I guess you could go like fire balls. Devin beating Levon? Probably not. I still don't see it, dude. I hope so, though, but. I just don't see it. I think he's way too fucking strong still, man. Power Stance Straight Swords? Well, if you're using buffs also, Power Stance Straight Swords are good. But. Yeah, like, yeah, I mean, what you can do. Okay, so no buffs. Okay. Well, yeah, then it doesn't... Doesn't matter too much. Yeah, he's a pretty long fight on that, right? Well, it's like nine minutes or so, eight minutes. I think I, I did a kill with that and it was like no talismans like basically no nothing and I think it was I, I used the I, used, I think I used the Highland Axe or unless I'm maybe I'm getting mixed up dude maybe I did use buffs on that I have it recorded somewhere like the night the nightmare mode kill I did on the other run like with with elemental buffs I think was like four minutes but the other kill was like eight or nine or something 
But maybe, maybe I was using... Maybe I was using Lightning Slash on that. I don't think so, though. I would, I would have to check. I, have a, I, I should have it recorded somewhere. Uh, it was NG plus seven. Like, I was just practicing for this run. But I, I might have used buffs on that. I can't remember. If I did, though, I'm not sure why it would have been so slow when <laughs> the kill I did later was like literally four minutes. But I guess, you know what, maybe uh, like Red Feather and Axe Talisman and the Physic and stuff. I guess that would save a maybe, lot of time. Maybe I'll give you the I best don't know, man. Not ever. Uh, Peanut, watch. thanks for the five month prime sub, dude. Uh, Reflections, what's up, dude? Welcome back. What are the odds I get this from this try? Um, probably like... Well, like... 15%. Ninety-nine <laughs> percent. If only. Maybe, maybe I'll give you the best nut ever. I'm so scared I'm going to get, like, staggered by him when I hit him when he's stunned. That's why I don't hit the scarabs when they're stunned, because I've definitely gotten staggered by them before. Maybe, maybe I'll give you the best nut ever. Keep up the good work. Uh, have a rain. Thanks for the two-month prime sub. Thanks, dude. Actually, really knowing that I, I I can't remember what that like what that kill was that I'm trying to think of. I, I need to check it, dude. Maybe it's just in my imagination. Let me see if I can find it. Maybe maybe I'll give you the best nut ever. Uh, Alfredo, thanks for the brand new sub as well, dude. Um. I should probably upload a lot of these. Like, I've done, I've done a lot of, um, like, very low damage kills that... I just, I just record just for boss practice for doing like this run and I don't know, just getting better at boss. I, I, I should upload them on the, on my second channel just so that people can see them, I guess. Maybe, maybe I'll give you the best nut ever. Uh, Paige, thanks for the brand new prime sub as well. I'm trying to find it. I don't know where it is. I, I, I probably use buffs on it the though. Gods demand repentance. Realistically. Cough up your coin, all of it. I don't know, man. I realized that I've been watching all the videos on your YouTube channel for over a year and I've never donated anything. So here's my thanks for the amazing wait for your content about the DLC. Not sent too much money because I'm from Brazil. <laughs> Wait, why can't I see? I can't see who that is somehow. Let me refresh. Uh, Verdant, thanks so much for the donation, dude. You definitely uh, don't have to worry about that at all. I've been thanks so much, dude. If you it seems torrent, I appreciate that. There is but one I can take gathering. Very well. Let my hand rest upon you.
Oh yeah, I also I also have my DS1 all bosses no hit <laughs> that I didn't I need to upload to my second channel too. I, I totally forgot about that. Yeah, I've got I've got the video for that right there. <laughs> I, I forgot. Um, let's get the axe. Totally forgot about that. Yeah, I, I got that. I got that. When did I get that, dude? I got that on January 8th. Whoops. Um. Just looking through all my, my like, recordings here. I've got a lot of stuff that I, I, I should upload. Oh, yeah. There's also that mimic to your hit that I was... I, I'm not sure where that is, though. I'm not very organized, clearly. But I, I meant to show people the other day. It was like so fucking weird. Well, it's been a, how can I? I safe. Basically, the weirdest hit I've ever taken. Man, I really got to organize this, man. Holy shit, dude. I've I've things just all, <laughs> all over the place. Is that I have like a lot of recordings from from like videos and stuff. And it's just kind of everywhere. Yeah, I got I got to go through this one day. I really won't die when I'm looking through this. Uh, the Balax is just a is very good weapon at plus zero. It's a good weapon. <clears throat> I don't really care who makes it out of the Western Conference this year as long as it's not Vegas or Vancouver. Why Vancouver? It's around the hardest run I've ever done? Uh, probably not. Well, no, I mean, definitely not. I would say that this run is sort of the equivalent difficulty of doing, like, no upgrade, no hit all bosses in DS3, probably. I mean, maybe that's even harder than this, actually. Dude, what is this one? Oh. <laughs> I just have some, like, random... Random videos, dude. Yeah, that is true. Yeah, one thing annoying that's annoying about this run is how long it is. That is just certainly true. Oh, I f dude, I found it. It was... Uh, wait. It was definitely not without buffs, dude. It was seven minutes. It was, it was with talismans. I don't think... I, I, I didn't use any buffs, but I, I used talismans on this. It was with the iron balls. It was seven minutes. And, and you know what? I actually did... Yeah, I did I did an axe kill with no talismans, but with lightning slash, which was five minutes as well. So there you go. So it, it was it was with talismans. But but yeah, basically what I what I was testing with that is how much better the axe is than than the balls in that case. But maybe, I like maybe. I used lightning slash, so I'll give you the best nut ever. I, I'm sure if you use the balls with Flaming Strike, it would be similar. Probably still slower, but similar. 
Well, maybe maybe not even so. I don't know, dude. Uh, Blaze Nora, thanks for the seven month reset, dude. Just three master all bosses. Yeah, like twenty minute boss fights on a no hit run is fucking insane, dude. Right. So yeah, like th that's what doing the nightmare. I I will use buffs on it because I think I think going no buffs just makes. I think that's maybe a little too far, you know. Oh, I don't know. We'll, we'll have to see, but... Um... A fight like Moog on... With no buffs? I'm not sure how long my Nightmare Mo kill on Moog was. I'd have to go check, but it was probably around, like, 16 minutes or so. Or 18 minutes or something, something like that. If I were to not use Lightning Slash, then... <laughs> I mean, that kills how long? We say, like, double the length of that? Like, that's, that's, that's like, a little too long, dude. In my opinion, what I've always said, if you can fight a boss on a no-hit run for 10 minutes, you can fight him for 30. You know, you can fight him for 20, you can fight him for 30. It's, that, like, that's just how it is, dude. Like, once you get to a certain length maybe, of fight maybe. on a no-hit run, it basically I'll becomes be just, like, not ever. obsolete, almost, the extra time that you're fighting them. Uh, Belkir, thanks for the brand new Prime sub, dude. Definitely, but the staggers. Staggers are huge, yeah. I would definitely recommend trying to get stuns on him. That's a little boring. Yeah, maybe. I mean, for, for me, though, it's not... Like, I'm not gonna lie. I don't really care if it's boring to watch or not, but... But man, there's something, it's so much fun though when you're, like, it's hard to explain. Might not be fun for everyone, but when you're a few hours into a no hit run and you start fighting a boss that's a long fight, like a 20 minute fight, oh man, it's just, there's something, there's something about it that's just awesome, dude. Hard to explain. Very hard to explain. And I remember it so well on, on like, the the Master Run, DS3, all bosses, and the, uh, like, level 1 plus 0 all bosses run. Like, fighting, <laughs> you know, like, fighting Nameless King. And and at that, like, when I did the level 1 plus 0 initially on base NG cycle, I, my builds were super suboptimal. I didn't use any spells or anything. And so the fights were even longer. And, uh... It's just, I don't know. I don't know how to describe them. I had to describe it, but it doesn't happen very often. Like, even even on this run, like, the closest I get to that is probably, like, Radagon or something. On the wrong way. Not sure how long Radagon is on this, on this run, but it's, I don't know, like... Four minutes, maybe, or I, I don't know. It's not, it's not not too long. Didn't remember when it was safe to Estus on Nameless. Oh, for like the Master Run. I don't. Re you know what? I really do not remember the Master Run well at all. Because, like, I did it off stream, and I just I just did it like really quickly, and so. Like, the level 1 plus 0 is much more memorable because I... First of all, that, that was... That was a, quite a big step up from, like, no upgrade, no hit all bosses, which I'd done before. And it also was a big... A much bigger commitment to try to get that run than... Than, uh... Than the Master Run was, so... I didn't remember a safe Estus check. I, I, don't, I don't remember that at all, actually. And I probably didn't want to Estus cancel because I was too scared I was going to miss or something. I mean, that sounds about right, but... Fastest death in the DS3. Yeah, <laughs> I remember that. It's funny because I, I remember I was, I was watching Z Colbster 
and he was he was just like this was back in 2017 he was just like trolling around he's like oh i'm gonna get the fastest death in dark souls 3 and then i was while while i was watching him do it i was like oh i'm gonna try that and then it's so stupid dude but i do remember that Would there be a harder fight than a trio fight with Millennia and the Gods can duo? I have no idea. I'm sure there would be. Yeah, Bewitching Branch Millennia, dude. You're right. Easy. Easy strat. Maybe, maybe I'll give you the best nut ever. Anonymous, thanks for giving out a sub. Thanks so much, dude. I'm not sure how much longer you're going to stream for, but I, what I might do is just kill Red Wolf, assuming I don't get hit, and then I, I kind of, I almost feel like looking at some bingo stuff today, dude, a little bit. I haven't really done any, I, I've done some brainstorming for it, but I haven't done any practice for it, so... It'd be cool to win bingo, maybe, if we can. It's going to be tough, though, dude. I, I think... I mean, I, I don't know what to expect, actually. Because I know uh, people have been practicing a lot. But... Like, people have been practicing a lot and timing. People have, like, people have told me the, that there's several people with spreadsheets on the amount of time that every square takes and stuff. <laughs> which is hilarious, but... Like, how much does that actually help? I don't know, dude. I think I don't think that helps as much as probably people would imagine it does. I think being able to execute the squares is way more important than knowing how long it takes on average. And I'm pretty confident in my execution of every square that is on the boards. Especially the boss fights and stuff. Like, I'm not a speedrunner, but I, I can also do bosses fast. Generally. Like, and, and I think oftentimes Bingo's actually not... At least in the first season. It wasn't all about just... Being able to kill a boss. Maybe, like, maybe it's, it's being I'll consistent be at killing the ever. boss efficiently. Is more important than being able to, like kill it fast if you get the right RNG or something, you know? But being consistent and, you know, never really making a mistake. And, uh... Yeah. And I also feel like I'm significantly better at the game now than I was in Season 1 of Bingo.
Why not aim rebuff? It's because it's not safe, I think. Uh, like, if I if I don't get a bit of distance and he does the quick double bites, then I get hit, I'm pretty sure. And, it, like, at least in, in the case of after a post uh, is where I think I did it there, but... It just, it just, yeah, like... You could get frame trapped by the double bite if you're too close. Oops. Oh, dude. Did not mean to double jump there. What do you need? I don't want any Um, Wolf's not weak to Holy, but he's he's basically the same to everything, except for maybe magic, I think. I'm just going to get myself a little bit set up, and then I'll probably end the run for today. And then we can do something else. Whoops. But yeah, the reason I use Holy is because it's basically the only accessible damage type for him that doesn't require me to go... Much later in the game. Talisman's allowed on Nightmare Road, yeah. Like, for for me, if if I I was saying I think I was saying this yesterday, but if I take if I have too many restrictions on a run, it just becomes not fun anymore. And so that's why you know the master run in DS3 includes stats effects and includes talismans, includes all that stuff. It's because it, once you get to a certain point where you're just removing everything, the run is not fun anymore, dude. Like you're just you're using the same weapon for every boss and you're just fighting the bosses and like that's the only thing that runs about and like in fact the the, the main the main reason why I even did the no upgrade no hit in ds3 initially was because I, I was kind of tired of doing runs with only the Twin Blades, you know? There's so many other weapons in the game. And I'm doing runs where I simply just only use the exact same weapon. And so I, I was thinking like, oh, how, how could I not do that? And still have it be like the meta thing to not use the same setup on every fight? And no upgrade is the way to do that, right? Because then you, like, Frost is good on certain fights or... Certain elemental damage type is good on a certain fight. And this is for Dark Souls 3. Or like bleed or magic or something like that. Um So So that was the that was actually the original goal of doing a run like that, actually. That and then it also seemed like the next logical step after doing a normal like SL1 no hit, I guess. Lower damage. And then, uh, and then after, like, I, I actually initially wasn't even going to do SO1 no upgrade because I just felt like it was kind of unnecessary and it was against the original purpose of doing that run because you're restricting more of what you can use. Obviously, I did it anyways, and then I did it on NG plus 7 after that. The main reason I wanted to do the NG plus 7 version was because... When I did it on base NG, as I was saying earlier, the setups I used were super sub-optimized. Like, very, very unoptimized. Because I, you know, at that point in time, people didn't really want to use magic and melee weapons on the same run at the same time. Because it was like, oh, that's too OP or something, you know? It was, it was kind of a lot different, I guess, back then. And so my original no upgrade was just very bad. Like, a lot of the fights on it... A lot of the fights are actually longer than my NG plus 7 fights. Like, the Nameless King, I guarantee, is longer on the base NG run than the NG plus 7 one. is because I use Black Flame on NG plus 7, which is the best. Versus, like, Irithal Straight Sword on, on the base NG cycle run or something. So. So, yeah. Yeah, true, and then like I didn't, I didn't op do the most optimal fight for everything, because yeah, Cinder bleed is the best. Ben and I bleed on Cinder is the best for the master run, like using quick step and stuff. But 
I just per I I felt I I feel like it's safer to use Black Knight Sword and get a bunch of stuns. If I were to redo it at this point, I probably would do the quick step, and I did know about it before. Like I knew how busted quick step was before I did that run, but. Uh, Nameless King's not really that hard. Not for no hit runs, at least, but maybe for casual playthroughs, he is. Well, yeah, in Phase 2, I'm, I'm not sure... I mean, Bleed probably is still the best in Phase 2, but I really liked Great Combustion. Great Combustion was nice because, obviously, Black Flame's stronger, but FP-wise, uh, FP-wise... Great Combustion was more FP efficient and dealt more damage overall. So I, I just went with that instead. And I think I could kill it. Like, I, I'm pretty sure I just killed them all with Combustion in Phase 2. I had enough FP for that. <sighs> okay, maybe I'll go get some of this set up. Did I use Black Flame? I could have sworn I used combustion on him. I'm gonna I'm gonna stop this one for here, you got for for now, you guys. Might do some bingo. I'm actually kind of curious now. Like I, I could show you guys the, the difference in the in the length of fights on that. Alright, how long ago were these videos? Uh Master Run. Any percent? Oh yeah, I remember my stream crashed in the middle of <laughs> in the middle of it. Where's Cinder, I wonder? I probably left him for later, I guess, as I usually do. He's in the part two, I suppose. That's part one. They're uploaded in the wrong order somehow. Yeah, Black Knight Sword into... Oh, I guess I did use Black Flame. Why do I remember Great Combustion? What the hell? Man, look at... Look at that bit rate. <laughs> Jesus, that's bad. Need some more of those pixels, dude. Oh, and any percent? Oh, interesting. Why did I... I wonder why I did that. I mean, yeah, Black Flame's clearly better. I just, I just remember there not being enough FP, but like, obviously, you have more than enough FP here. That's so weird. That's so fucking weird. Okay. Um. Yeah, we'll continue this run. Let me make a save on it first of all. We'll continue this run uh, tomorrow, I guess. Will Gino smash new Gino? I, I don't think so, dude. I'm a lot better at games now than I was at, at that point in time. Probably. Maybe, maybe, maybe I'm worse at DS3 like right now, but no hit running overall. I'm definitely better now. At least you'd hope, right? Also, uh, Bim, thanks for the, the one year resub, dude. Okay, bingo or... I don't know what else. I was actually, I was doing a kill the other day. Maybe it's not that interesting, but I was doing, um, I was just practicing Millennia and I was doing another long kill on her. Seen that Wither performance yesterday? <laughs> yeah, surely did. Finished yesterday's run off stream. I, I finished it uh, today, like on stream. Yeah, it's, it's basically just millennia with literally nothing and i i i got hit i was just doing it off stream for some practice and i i ended up getting hit with, when she had like a third hp left and i was like 35 minutes or 40 minutes into the, into the fight dude it's pretty long it was a pretty long one or we can continue nightmare run as well but it's not it's not the best run for practicing stuff though is the only problem I just with Bree. Is she streaming right now? I'm 
I guess we could. Let me see what she's doing. Is she on BRB right now? That's so funny, actually. <laughs> uh, Bree, thanks for the raid. How was your uh, stream? Dude. I was literally just about to see if you want to do some bingo practice right now. But that's okay. That is quite all right. And I... I, I <laughs> that's so funny. <clears throat> I need to get some water, too. Okay, dude, let's just do, let's just uh, look at some bingo stuff. Practice some kills. Did I do a casual no hit run. I guess I could. Uh, sounds good, Bree. Sounds good. Uh, I've not tried the unalloyed millennia, no. Uh, what do I do, man? Like, what, what boss fight do I practice? I don't know. I guess I could do some Scion. I haven't fought Scion in, in a while. Wow, dude. Six decks? Holy smokes. I guess I could get a bingo board up, too. Why not, dude? I can. What is going on here? I'm out. I'm on an out of date version, <laughs> apparently. When did they update this? Okay, I guess I can get a. Oh, literally just updated today. Well, let me do that. Just updated today, dude. Yeah, so the minus four and minus five are the stat, like, the uh, amount of stats that you don't have that you need to wield the weapon. Although, I, 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 it doesn't actually tell you, like, whether it's strength or not. So, okay, surely this will work this time. I, I've seen people put the board underneath their camera. Do you guys think that's a better spot? Or like, where's the, where's the best spot to put this? <laughs> Middle of the screen. I'll just put it in the corner. Um, star. Oh, I gotta upload. Hopefully I have the most up-to-date squares. I, you know what? I probably don't. 
Dang, dude. Not sure if I have the most up-to-date squares. Oh, you know what? I, I guess I do. Okay, well, let me know if there's any squares that I have on here that are wrong or something. Um, so I would like to... Oh, is there no more start timer or is that manually put in? Is that, is that big enough for you guys or should I make it bigger? Or can I make, can I make the font bigger or something? Not sure if I can do that. Maybe a bit bigger. There's a lot of like settings here. Oh, wow. They have different board sizes too on here. That's cool. For your old man eyes. Yeah, I'll make it bigger. Uh, like I'll, uh, make it bigger, but semi transparent. Okay. I can do that too. Surely. Except where. Where do I actually change the stuff, though? Oh, boy. Is it? Oh, it's below? Um... Like, in, it's not in the lobby settings, right? I don't... Wait, there's a plus minus? Why do I not see that anywhere? Maybe because I'm not... I don't know. Is it, let me uh maybe it's in the config file or something. Oh, bonus per bingo. Um I haven't used this very much clearly. Countdown is under, well, not, not the countdown. I mean the, uh, like the text size, but my camera on the right, mm, I don't know. Anyways, I guess it's not that big of a deal. Would be kind of nice though. Plot settings under bingo board. Wow, I'm blind. <laughs> That's so funny. Don't mind me. That should be a bit better. Okay, how's that looking? Is that looking okay? Kind of cut off a bit now, actually. Oh, wait, no, it's not.
Is that, should I go less transparency or is it decent? Like, it might be hard to see when I'm actually running through the game, though. Maybe, it's kind of hard to tell with his background. Let me see when I'm actually in the game. I don't know what class I just started with, but. Oh, that looks kind of weird. What do you guys what do you guys think about that? Is that decent? Should I go like more transparent or less? Be like that. There we go. That looks good, huh? Okay. Sure, it looks fine. Wait, it was good? Is it bad now? <laughs> or what? Text is a bit blurry. Um. Is it? Maybe it's because the... Maybe the chroma key is bad or something. What about like this? Like, what about pure transparent? I don't know. I guess I can just literally go look at it on my stream. I would say that looks pretty okay. This is the YouTube stream, though. So there's this is higher bit rate and higher... Um, I hear everything. Move chat? Is it? What do you mean, move chat? Okay. Um. The board doesn't really matter. I'm not going to lie. Like, I'm. Perf club. What do you got? Is that is that not visible enough now? Why does that look so? I guess that maybe there's like a gradient on it or something. Why does it look like that? You can't see it on this because the background, but it's like a weird gradient or something.
<laughs> Overlay the bingo board on the green screen. Uh, surely this is the one, right? That's got to be it. Or does this look worse now? <sighs> you guys, what do you say? Is this better? Is this better or is the actual transparent better? Good old Scion. Actual garbage boss. Surely that was on here, right? <laughs> it was not on here. Recommend buying Ashes of Ariandel. I would I would recommend, yes. I would recommend. Bloated wreck wearing a carpet. <laughs> True, dude. No, I didn't get square off. I got a short sword. I, I, I'm not going to lie. I am like kind of hesitant to practice on stream. Because why would I? Why would I do that? <laughs> you know? Like, why did I show people stuff? That I'm directly against. No, I don't I don't need content, dude. Yeah, you guys will just have to wait and see when the actual matches happen. <laughs> Miss a leading practice. I, I don't think that's gonna work. <laughs> I don't think people are that dumb. Whoops. Wow, how did that miss him? Uh, Elias, congrats, dude. This is a very short club. Whoops. <laughs> nice one. Nearly died also. That's good.
Loretta's Warsicle. Garbage. It's the hardest boss. Elden Ring boss to beat on normal playthrough. Probably millennia. Uh, it's, it's a randomizer pungent, uh, pon ponigen. Pony. <laughs> I don't know what you're, I don't know how to say your name. The, yeah, this club does look like it's shorter than the normal club. But I think it's the base damage probably higher. A uh, co nine. Ah, okay, gotcha. Uh, yeah, you should probably get Skiro, I would say. I just need to practice some bosses, I think, dude, a little bit, and I mean. I wouldn't mind testing some stuff on Lanciax also because that, that like getting her stuck in the corner thing isn't allowed. But like again, maybe I shouldn't do this on stream, but retaking Bingo Brawler title? I don't know, dude. We'll have to see. Maybe not, but we'll try. You know what? I, I never knew there was a there's a um, there's a spirit spring to the south of Lanciax. I had no idea I was there. I, I I think it must be for getting down from up there, right? Like if you're trying to get back down to this section. Most ta challenging team. Well, just based on. The the stats alone, I, I have to imagine it's Puppery and Catalyst, right? I mean, they are on paper the strongest team because they had combined the highest finishes out of any of the other teams. So, like, they are they should be the favorite. Yeah, Catalyst won his season, season two, and Puppery finished, I believe, fourth. If I'm not mistaken. And, you know, that's, yeah, that's higher than any other team, I believe. I'm not sure the next best team, like, next best on paper team would be. You know, obviously, that might not be the perfect way to rank a team, but. Aggie CBD, well, Aggie came third, and CBD, what did he come in? Like, did, what? Bushy came third also. Like, Bushy and, uh,. Who's Bushy with again? I, I can't remember. Common Kaz who did what what place did Kazoodle come in? Was he in four? Uh, fifth? Like that's probably that's a strong team too, I guess. Ah uh, yeah, Josh. Josh came in I wanna say fifth as well. I don't know. I'm not sure who the strongest on paper team is. It's really hard to say. But obviously that's that's not like that's not the definitive way to do it, right? Cause who knows, man? Like in the, and I, I think the quality of play in the second season, I didn't really watch it, but I have to imagine it was much higher than season one as well, right? Just because people seem to practice like crazy for it. Uh, I'm with Bree. Me and Bree. <laughs> yeah, Breeze partner is clearly dead weight, dude. You're right. <laughs> Breeze gonna have to carry. Yeah, so I, I think first and fourth is the is the highest ranking team. Like they're probably gonna be very tough to beat. 
I would imagine. So, the cheese that I believe is not allowed is the one where you get Lancey X down here. Is that correct? Can anyone confirm that? Oh man, I'm really Fox. I'm I'm already giving secrets away. Oh brother. <laughs> but I've I've never actually done this before. I've only seen it, and I've just I've never bothered. What do you do? You just like wait down here or something? I mean, is this? Holy smokes. I think fucking decimated, dude. <laughs> yeah, nice strat, dude. I guess, is it more over here? No, th this isn't allowed, but in theory, though, if, if there was a way to do this, but in a different spot, would that then be allowed? Because, like, the rules are kind of weird, because as my understanding is that there's specific cheeses that are banned, but if there's any new cheeses that are found, they're going to be allowed. That's my understanding. Dude, where do you do this at? This is clearly not the right spot. Is it over? Is it? Oh, maybe it's over. Over here instead. Like I said, I've never actually done this before. This seems about right, I would say. I guess you... you look at attacks, though. I, I don't know if this is... I don't know if this is right. Is this right? Is that... I just I just wanted to try this because I've never done it before. Holy smokes, it's painful with this weapon, dude. What about this attack? Yeah, it doesn't look that good, but I, I might just not be doing this properly or something. Like, maybe with a, a longer weapon, you'd actually be able to hit the boss from here and, like, not bait out attacks. There we go. I think it's just a weapon issue. There we go. That's This is how it's done. It's done.
So yeah, like if there's another spot to do something similar, is that also like, I'm not sure if, not sure how specific the bands are. But the thing is, there's so many cheeses in this game, and and the ones that were listed, like, I can I can think of several more that are not listed that would, like that aren't not really glitches, but they just weren't mentioned, which I'm not gonna show you guys, <laughs> because. For obvious reasons. Um. Okay, so here, here's the, here's the. Let me just snip it, I guess. Here's the list. DTS cheese, nice cap cheese, and I like. I assume these are referring to the specific, like the the most common version of these, right? So I don't think nice cap cheese is like all encompassing night cavalry cheese, Jesus, which obviously there's more of than just one, right? Um, so I think that's just for, like, the Dragon Barrow, and then DTS Cheese, the Bell Bearing Hunter Cheese and Kalid, Water and Cliff Cheese, Grail Cheese, which is the Fall Timer one. This is also a Fall Timer one. Uh, the Branch Cheese. But not the, not the, not the Geysers, though, interestingly enough. And, and so the Lance X thing that we just did, and then the Grail quit out. So th those are the only things that are not allowed. And, like, when I saw that list, I'm like, dude, there's so many more. <laughs> so I'm, I'm not going to show those, because they might just not be as well known. Maybe not so many more. That might be a little bit of a overstatement, but there's definitely a few. There's certainly a few that... I can think of that are not glitches and, and that would be allowed so yeah branchies is is a little strange dude this boss is so garbage man The terrain certainly doesn't help anything. Why did it not even seem like I hit the boss right there? Oops. I want an eight incident. <laughs> nah, dude. No, there's no chance. Like, I think it's it's pretty well solidified at this point that if there's another cheese that isn't, like, in that list of glitches, like, he, he provided also a Wow, this weapon is so fucking bad. He also kind of, he put in a list of glitches as well, like, or, or, like, just, you're not allowed to do glitches, right? So... I'll give you the best nut ever. Is this where I find the gyno machine? This boss is still better than Fortisax, at least. A Spectre, thanks for the 17 month resub, dude. I appreciate that. Are they just, like, allergic to making big bosses have flat arenas, or what? Kind of what it seems like. Wow, 
Wow, I am very bad at this fight, clearly. <laughs> Jesus, dude. Doesn't help using the shortest weapons known to man, though. Like, long thrusting weapons is kind of what you want here. The amount of whiffs that are happening. Something like the Great Club on this fight is pretty nice, actually. You can pretty realistically get a stagger with something like that. Surely this boss on on Master Run. Oh boy. Master Run all bosses will be a good fight. Yeah, I've, I've never seen this club before either. I think it's the. But the. Like Albin Orcs use it or something? Did that fucking miss? Nice. Sword was the sword was doing a lot, a lot more damage, but I can't even hit the boss's head with it. Nice lightning strike. I can get a headshot on that actually. You need longer weapons on this fight, like I was saying. Yep, nice terrain. You know what, dude? What if... Like, what the fuck happens if this happens accidentally? Like, right now. Like, you just lose? Wait, is that real as Azur? Are you just saying that? Like, oh, you got one hit on his head when he was in the spot. In the spot, I guess. <laughs> I guess you got to reset.
That'd be so funny. Yeah, because he like he does end up in there often. The, like I've I've done some very um I've done some very long fights on him and or, or even not very long fights and he like he just needs to fly over there. That's it. And then next thing you know. What is that in the sky right there? Dude, and people say the Elden Ring dragon fights are better than the Skyrim ones. They're insane, dude. Clearly, this is better than, or this is worse than any Skyrim dragon fight. Hmm. Actually, so bad. <laughs> Such a bad boss. Actually miserable using this weapon too. Such a like why am I using this? I have zero good weapons on this right now. Now there are see that was a spirit spring I was talking about, the one right over there. There so, so, hypothetically, if there is another spot where you can cheese the Lancey Axe in a similar way, would that not be allowed to, or is it only that other one? Might need some clarification on that. What a just terrible R2 that is. <laughs> That's insane. Maybe I should give myself a better weapon. Not sure which one, though. It says idle AI. Well, so then, I don't know, dude. Does that mean if you do it, let's say you go down there, but you do it in a spot where the boss isn't idle and still attacks you, but you're just in a spot where you can't be reached.
I don't know. I got hit by that. Why am I... Dude, there's no way I'm too close for that. That's insane. Dude, some of the hitboxes on this fight are so bad, too. Oh, my God. What is it? Oh, can you actually jump that AOE? Oh, wait, you're, say you're saying this one? Yeah, what you want to do is be at a range where you can get a headshot. I did try to roll again. You're just not fast enough. This weapon is so bad, <laughs> it is insane. How does it not have a, sp a, a thrusting sprint attack as well? Knights Cavalry, Cheese, and Kaled. Uh, which one? One of them's not allowed, and the other one I would assume is allowed. But I... Not certain on that. Well, it, it's... It's not too bad to get headshots when you actually have a, a weapon that hits high. And... Like, if I had an axe... I mean, look how much better this is.
Wow, that AoE is fucking way too big. Can, can I really jump that? Yeah, that's not a good idea. Yep, there it is again. Boss going directly into the cheese area. Nice Axe is definitely one of the worst individual boss fights in the game. There's no, there's no question about that, dude. Yeah, Gideon's probably worse. Nice recovery. I love when, like, one of your only attacks that gives me a headshot just fucking instantly cancels itself somehow. Yep, that missed somehow. I'm not sure if that actually damages you, like the fall, the final hit. Wow, what a just garbage fight. <laughs> I guess the boss died. Yeah, it's the, it's the same, basically, Donald. And they're both horrible. I wish I'd have made a save file there. Why don't his feet have hitboxes? Who fucking knows, man? It's just, it's very poorly done. Um, anyways, I'm, I'm probably gonna end for today, guys. I, 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 I kind of want to practice bingo on stream, but at the same time, I don't, man. I just, I just don't want to. Or I, I want to, but I don't want to show people stuff. It's for mine and Bree's eyes only, dude. That's it. And surely she's not using stuff in practice matches also. <laughs> um, but yeah, thanks for hanging out today, guys. I will be back on tomorrow. And we'll probably, you know, we'll continue that master run attempt we were doing. Try hard? Well, I mean, maybe. There's nothing wrong with that. Well, except, I mean, it's it's not even try hard, dude. It's, it's literally just the smart play right so now oh, let's see if we can raid someone dude what is what's hob doing I'll, I'll raid hob i have no idea what he's doing though <laughs> His title is Elden Ring Broken AF Edition. Oh, that's literally the, the mod name. Well, I don't know what that means, but go say hop, you guys. I will be back on tomorrow with more Master Run. Next week is going to be the uh, bingo practice week, I guess. 
match, I'll probably be gearing up because the following week or the weekend is the actual matches. So first actual match. I'm not sure who we're against first. But anyways, yep. Uh, take care, guys. I'll see you all tomorrow.